Okay, it looks like we're all recording. We're all good to continue. Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, time for more Blaze Black. Last thing we did was pretty much complete this whole forest, right? Yeah, I pretty much took out every trainer I could. So all that remains now is to exit and move on to Castelia. I did get myself Houndoom. Look at this. So crusty looking and large like this, ain't it? 3D engine. We should be fine taking out Berg. Oh yeah, here we go. We gotta run across the bridge. Listen to that music. Now that's comfy. The way the bridge curves right here, I've never seen anything like it. I imagine Berg should be okay. I don't have many TMs to teach my low tick, but um, what I could give them is the hidden power TM. I'm wondering if I should also just put Pluck on Togetic. No, wait, no, that's a physical move. What am I saying? That would be terrible. Never mind. I'm better off spamming Cry Attack. I'm in search for the exact center point of Sky Arrow Bridge. Oh, where is it? Fix camera angles. We Resident Evil now. I mean, it's not a proto 3D effect. It literally, the game literally is 3D. It just has the sprites in the 3D environments. Look how fancy that is. Of course, when you're not in an actual DS aspect ratio, it looks quite, quite weird. Now let's run through here. Hey, good old Castelia. Now, Castelia has a lot of things what we can do. First, let's hop in here. Who are you? Want to recover Pokemon? Ooh, sorry. Do you know Geonet? Yes. Oh, you know Geonet? That's great. This, this is even greater, let me tell you. You try Geonet, you can register a place where you live. That, that's great. I didn't ask. I think you find a fossil after Berg, right? What I can try and do is leave the town first. I want to check out what's actually catchable in the desert. Besides, running right to the, the gym just means we have to do a cutscene for a bit. As well, um, Berg is probably going to be powerful. I do have types to actually cover him, but... Uh, I can't imagine he'll be as tough as Lenore was. Let's see. Anyone give me stuff? Landscapes with people, landscapes with Pokemon. Each has power and beauty, compelling me to draw them. Oh, my studio is down Mode Street a bit. Good for you, pal. Good for you. I think you can fight the dancers in town as well. But first, let's hop up here. I'm in Nimbasa City where I work. I went to see a musical. Have you heard about it? The Pokemon musical? Pokemon get all dressed up and dance to the music. Pokemon trainers on Route 4 show combinations with Pokemon even during road construction. That's great. Everybody's coming and going. And suddenly, no one's here. What does that tell you? A secret. Hi, Merville. Thank you for the resub. Okay, the fun place where there's always infinite sandstorms. Um... My low tick needs to level up. That's the main thing. And I'm going to give them the Hidden Power TM. It's not going to be good. Like, at all, let's be real. Oh, wait, I already taught it to them? I guess I didn't remember doing that. Also, chat, do you like the new corner bear? Oh! The fossil's there. Okay, I'll take it. It's not a new bear, but um, it's probably new to some of you. Look at it, it's Teddy Doolin. Hey, trainer. There's a bit of a problem up ahead. You can't pass. You should go kill some time at the gym. Alright. That's the case. Then all we can do is check out... Check out over here. Is this a rest house? I remember there being a rest house somewhere. You worn out? Okay, perfect. Which one's the skull fossil again? If I go back to the... Uh... Whatever the hell it was called, city. With Lenore... Lenora, Lenora. I can't remember, my goodness. You can revive the fossils, but we don't need to worry about that right yet. Oh, finally. It's Cranidos? I thought so, yeah. That's a sand dial. 
Ooh, check out that back sprite for my low tech. Teddy's ready to duel. Let's try hidden power. Chat, would you play card games with the bear? I think he'd be, be, be very good at it. Very good at it. Unfortunately, all his cards would get stuck with honey. That's why you gotta make sure you give him sleeves. Okay, it's super effective against ground. I don't remember if this thing's ground dark yet. Oh. That's a problem. Whatever. I'm gonna have to do this. Just wanted to get some quick experience for my sea serpent thing. By the way, I was curious about where the name Milotic comes from. And one of the suggestions I heard is that it's based on, like, that... The name kind of partially comes from that statue, like the Venus de Milo. I think that one is supposed to depict, like, a beautiful person. And that's where the Milo and Milotic comes from. I might be totally wrong about that, but... There's Plume Fossil. Can't see up ahead because of the sandstorm. Uh, I'll have a battle with you. It is, you're right. Isn't that interesting? Pokemon names have a lot of weird logic put to them sometimes. Parasol Lady April. Who brings a parasol to a sandstorm? Like, is the sand really coming from above at that point? When Mantike is higher level than you. Do I have anyone that can last in the sandstorm very well? Not really. I could just Dragon Rage this thing because it's got a it's got like special defense, right? I'll do that. Bubbles. Baby Dino's working out for me. This is like the very first time I've ever had an early Axew or my low tick. It's kinda neat. And here I am using Teddy Ursa again. The reason I always want to use Teddy Ursa is because so many games don't give you access to Teddy Ursa until really late. Crystal version in Gen 2 is an exception because they they make it a rare encounter in Dark Cave in the morning. Only in Crystal, though. Same with Bampy in the nearby location. Excellent. Shield on. If I have Hidden Power Water, that would be good. But it could be a lot of things, since it was super effective, the Sand Isle. Let's give it a shot. Come on, Hidden Power. Oh, it might be Grass. Could be Grass Bug. Oh wait, doesn't Ground resist Bug? I actually don't remember. Okay, if that's the case... Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Annoying, because he's got that massive physical defense. Don't just sit, use Incinerator or something. And Houndoom has Intimidate in this game, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, hit me. It really helps cover his um bad physical defense, for sure. I got a good nature, Houndoom. Houndoom is another Pokemon I always complain about that I can't get early. As you know, infamously, you, you get Houndour and Kanto in Gen 2. Just like Slugma. Really could have added a lot of fire types to Johto, but they just decided not to. Anyway, hope the volume's all good and you're all comfy today. I'm feeling pretty good. I was looking forward to today's stream a lot. I had a very good day off yesterday. I got to relax. I played some games. I even got some pages of a script written. And today, we're doing a bit of Blaze Black, and I have a spooky game for after this as well. Okay, that's good. Uh, the next game, though, is... That's the reason I was a bit late, because... Hang on a second. I'll send out my low tech and switch. I was trying to buy it. It's called Home Safety Hotline. I was trying to buy it on Steam, and for some reason Steam, like, broke, and the, the transaction was, like, stuck in limbo. So I had to look up how to cancel it so I could rebuy it, because it wouldn't let me buy the damn game or anything else, because it, it was just stuck and pending forever. I'll send out Togetic. I'm early today? Well, that's because normally I've been very late. 
This is around the time I'd ideally like to start. Let's see here. I just had a lot of bad sleep in recent months and all that. Let's see here. Bad sleep and a lot of other issues, I should say. Can't blame it all on sleep. Okay, good, we paralyzed him. Well, Togetic's probably gonna have to be going down after this, but that's fine. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna try a metronome, why the hell not? Why not? Oh, hey, Judgment! I love when I accidentally call the power of the god of the universe onto a Munchlax. Let's do it again. Metal sound. Actually, that's that that's kind of good right now. I can finish him off the try attack now. Literally just called Arceus's freaking signature move. Munchlax looks a little too happy. Snover. Well, this would be a good thing to use Houndoom on. Uh, switching would be a pain in the ass. Snover's gonna activate Hail anyway, so... Doesn't matter, because we're in a sandstorm, but let's just take it out. You can see the trainer levels here are already higher than me. No, fairies aren't in this mod. Fairies didn't exist when this was made. If you turn on an oven within a five-mile radius of Snover, they just die. That's the rule. That's how weak to fire they are. Sand Storm. This parasol keeps off the sun and rain, but it can't stand up to sandstorms. My tears are falling on Route 4. Okay, we're gonna head back and use the rest house. Good thing they put that there. Lullaby. Dying over here. Hold up. Hit it with a try attack. Maybe inflict a status and we'll catch it. I'm not gonna even attempt to level it up, though. I don't think Drayano changed the, um, the evolution level of Braviary and Mandibuzz, but... We can probably catch them in the wild somewhere in the end game, I would assume. Because I'm not going to sit around waiting for this thing to evolve. Okay, took a bit of damage there. throw a great ball at it. Not to mention, you can't even find Volibi and Rufflet until post-game and vanilla versions anyway, right? Okay, number 60. Let's update the counter. Do -do. Make sure I say it out loud so I don't get confused. Diapered Pokemon. Its wings are too tiny to allow it to fly. As the time approaches for it to evolve, it discards the bones it's wearing. I wonder what bones it's got there. Now, when you really look at it, isn't it kind of weird how its legs are going through the eyes of the skull? It really is. Alright, send it to someone's PC. You worn out? Vullaby looks cool, but Mandibuzz just looks like generic Vulture. Even though it does look like it evolves into it. Hang on, I need a drink. It evolves at level 39 in this game. Okay, thank you. That's more reasonable than 50-something. I don't want to say an exact number, because I feel like it's over 50. Okay... Maybe put something like you up front that can run away easily. 54. Yeah, that sounds right. Sounds like Unova. Everything takes longer in the U.S. Oh, an Ultra Ball. Oh, 
Oh, I already talked to you. What am I doing? New Pokemon. This is the desert where I found the shiny Teddy Ursa, remember? Y'all remember when I had that freak out? When Super Teddy just came out of the sands and became a little friend. Sandile, uh, it takes a while to get Krokorok. Not sure if I want to use one. For now, I know I... Oh, I killed it. Okay. I know that I need to keep Pidgeotto for Berg, though. The team is going to get changed up a lot as this... Oh, I didn't pick it up. <laughs> Come on. Sand, uh, this is normally where you get it, so it's actually pretty reasonable to use throughout the game, yeah. By the way, chat, on the topic of Pokemon Black and White, I saw a clip of the anime recently that had me a little bit weirded out. So, I guess Bianca shows up in the Black and White anime to interact with Ash and friends sometimes, right? There's an episode with Bianca, though. Oh, cover fossil. I got three fossils so far. So there's an episode of the anime where Bianca's with Ash and friends, and they come to a place with a bunch of fighting Pokemon. And for some reason, Bianca's whole character trait just becomes the fact that she's obsessed with muscles. Like, she just, like, starts freaking out over the sock and throws, like, muscles. She's like, oh my god, those are those Pokemon are so muscly. That looks amazing. Can I give them a, mas a massage? And then she runs over and starts, like, grabbing its muscles. And it's like, huh? What, what, why is she doing that? <laughs> Let's try a quick attack. Even, like, the trainer of the sock is just like, could you, could you, could you like, stop doing that, Bianca? Like, could you stop being weird? And then, no, but she just keeps doing it. And it's like, wow, that's... She's acting really creepy. <laughs> like, look up the clip right now on YouTube if you don't believe me. It's, it's, it's so weird. Yeah, just imagine if they, like, they reversed that, <laughs> if it was, like, Brock or something with another Pokemon and be like, oh, They're both equally as creepy to me when they do that. Let me see. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at it. I did post it in the server. I think it got buried, though. No, she genuinely asked if she could give the sock a massage. I'm not even kidding. This was dub, by the way. That was the dub dialogue. Also, the Scraggy took me out, but that's okay, because I'm going for it. Does Teddy play Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. He's the coolest little bear. He loves the duel. I actually haven't seen any clips of Charon in the anime, if he shows up at all. I don't know. Let's catch this thing. Come on. Okay, 61. Excellent. We caught another friend. Its skin has a rubbery ela elasti elasticity. I can read. So it can reduce damage by defensively pulling its skin up to its neck. I feel like that would hurt. That's just me, though. Send it to the PC. Alrighty, am I almost dead? Pidgeotto is. I'm sure I could take this one battle without Pidgeotto, though. My way of life is dynamic. That's cool. Hmm. Worker Gus. He's gonna Makahita. I guess I could use Pidgeotto again. This is a little annoying, but we'll be fine. Crap. I'll let Boopy do it. I should have taken it. I should have kept, um... I should have went back just to heal Pidgeotto. Well, here we go. We're doing this now. Nobody gets EXP. Try attack. Uh, there's no reason for me to even have stored power. I'm never going to be able to use it. Stab, try attack is just way better. Oh, nice. A crit. If 
Bell Toy. You know what? I'll stay in because I'm about to hit level 28. Come on. Baltoy looks a lot larger in its Gen 4 and 5 sprites. Gen 3 makes it look so tiny. Alrighty, let me get a drink here. Twenty-eight. Good enough. Swinub. I know it's called Swinub, I just call it that. Um, hmm. I guess my low tick could resist it and try using hidden power here. It's your teddy bears and everything will be okay. Oh. Do I mispronounce the name to generate comments? Oh, absolutely. I'll go a whole stream calling it Swinub, and it makes people mad. I mean, it's me. Remember, it's me. To this day, I still have people that don't know how to, that t tell me I'm pronouncing my own name wrong. Mud bomb. Accuracy fell. Well, that's unfortunate. Go for it again. Oh, it's going endure. Why gotta be like that? I'm just gonna go to Axew, I guess. There we go. Body slam. Well, that sucks. He doesn't have an ice move at the very least, but... Oh, come on, man. You know what? Fine, just take me out. I'm not switching again. let Boopy hit it. How about that? Can Boopy just come out and just boop the swin up? Take it out. An 88, 281. Brandados. No, I'm staying in. I need to take care of Gus here. Brandados and Rampardos have a cool design, but they're not really great Pokemon. Like, I think in Gen 4, Rampardos has, like, one of the highest attack stats of all Pokemon. But it just, like, can't do much, I guess? Like, it has no speed or, like, defenses to really, like, stay alive. So it can't do anything. I don't know, is that a thing, like, people have tried to do? Like, Baton Pass, uh, like, into a, a Rampardos? I feel like that could be really funny. go. And now we go over here. Okay, nothing up that way. We healed up. There's still a few more trainers to fight. My low tick needs some more EXP. My low tick needs a damn move is what it needs. Because all I have is hidden power. Oh, hey, Trappinch, how you doing? Having nothing but attack isn't exactly great. Yeah. Try this. It's gonna chomp me. Rampardos was the second best attacker, right behind Deoxys attack form. I mean, yeah, Deoxys attack form is pretty much a given to be the best of whatever form he is. Ah, oh, killed it. Oh, it was a crit. I wanted to live. Well, we gain a little bit of stats here and there. I'm a mucho macho worker. I'll bring you down with my muscles. 
Reggie Alecki is faster than speed form now. Yeah, I heard that thing's whole thing is that it's stupid fast. I'm a choke. Well, I can't fight this thing now, can I? Time for acrobatics. No, 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 go back. Just one water move, please, until I get my skull TM. Once I get my skull TM, this whole world is gonna feel the pain, or feel the burn. Revenge. That loose pixel on your nose is bothering me. Take it out. Okay, nice. How about a move? How about a move? Twister. That is a special move, so I'll take it. You know what's funny? My level 17 Milotic has um, more special attack than my starter. Ugh, oh, the impudence. I dismissed you as a kid. Not at all. You're quite the trainer. What are they constructing here? I'm not even quite sure of that. Looks like that's the end of the road. I can't go past the little thing right here. That would be illegal for some reason. I'm just gonna have to wait. Go to the gym. At least I have Twister. Wait, hidden power is super effective on you. I can actually use this. How many badges until I can buy Quick Balls? I don't need to catch all the sand dials and all that right now. Grab a few things here and there, but there's nothing I really want in the desert at the particular moment. Margo. Not sure what the hidden power type is, but it's super effective on sand dial. I know that shield on resists it, so it can't be water. Or grass. Actually, wait, no, shield on's rock steel, so if it was grass, it would be neutral. Okay, so it couldn't be that. It was neutral to swine up, maybe ice. Uh, possibly, yeah. Ice could be okay. And we took out all the trainers who are surprisingly pretty competent. Higher level than me, that's for sure. Hopefully, the bug gym will allow my, um, especially my hound doom to shine, yeah. Servine should probably just get boxed for a little bit. You can fish on Route 1 for Feebas, and there was a prism scale in the forest, so that's how I have my low tech. I spent, like, a good chunk of last episode trying to get get a good one. Yeah, shield on resisted. Keep forgetting I have two items mapped. I don't remember what places in Castellia give you items, or if it's even really worth it to check them all. Hey, trainer, show me your paces. Give me a whirl. All right, fight's like a dance. Is it only the three dancers that you can fight, or were there more? Or am I thinking of black and white, too? Okay, they each got a monkey Evo. Hang on, let's find out if- No, wait, no, I shouldn't. You're gonna grass move me, and I'm gonna die. That'd be stupid. I'll just switch to Pidgeotto for this. Or actually, Houndoom deserves it. Intimidate. To eliminate. Oh, Seed Bomb. Pretty good for this point in the game. Wish I had a better move than Incinerate. At least if they have a berry, I can get rid of it. Oh, nice. Crit. Nice. These are some really good gains. My low tech's looking pretty fine here. My movement lacks power. All right, let's get down. How about that? Those were some smooth moves, no doubt, but it'd be even tighter if I had a group. Hey, you, would you talk to the other dancers? You invite both of them, the three of us can groove. Same outfit as me, that guy's a dancer. You literally could be triplets. The same outfit in me. Hey, what's going on in the back alleys? Eh <laughs> Smirk. You need something? You looking for dancers for a team? Sounds interesting, but I don't want to do a favor for someone who isn't stronger than me. Let's have a battle. Okay, let's begin.
answer Edmund. He's got a Simi Poor. I think I almost settled for a Simi Poor. Now I have a Milotic. Um. I could try a Hidden Power because I want to see if it works better on you. Fury Swipes, that's all you got? Good. Neutral to water. So it can't be ice. Does that mean it could be bug? Probably. Um, I'll just let Boopy do it. Pretty much has to be bug, yeah. Sand Dial's dark, uh, ground dark, though, so that's why it would be super effective on him, right? I don't think ground resists, um, bug. Will be use Leaf Tornado. Okay, good. Milo ticket level 19. Nice. My footwork was not quite sharp. You're gonna create a dance team, are ya? Sounds interesting, I'd like to join up. Where did I put those sunglasses? Oh, I found them. You really gotta have more light to see your way. Here, take this, it'll help you see in dark places. A TM Flash. Brick balls can be bought at Shopping Mall 9, which is very late. Are you talking about black and white normally, or blaze black? Use flash, accuracy will go down. When you use it twice, the rate to get hit by a move will be about half, because it means more light. You okay? It's this back alley cafe. After a tiring day of work, this cafe is the perfect spot to let your mind relax. Beautiful melody to make people happy. A sad melody makes people sorrowful. That's the power of melodies. When I listen to his guitar, it reminds me of leaving home for the first time and the tears of farewell my mother cried. It's your first visit, yes? Please. Have a round on me. Give this to your dear Pokemon. I'm probably ne I'm never going to use this one, though. The guy just flashed me in the alley. Now, come on, now. Don't say technically correct things like that. Where's the other Pokemon Center? Aren't there multiple? Am I thinking of something else? Heal me up, please. Heal me up. I probably should spend my money before I get bodied by some random trainer. Thank you for waiting. Restored your Pokemon to full health. Okay. Uh, first, let me buy ten more of these and get the premiere. Let's take 10 more of these for now. Don't get a Premier Ball for that, but it's fine. Any special ones here? Heal, Net, and Nest. Nest isn't really gonna help. And I'll buy four of those, because why not? Now, where's the last guy? Is he by the docks? What about here? We're waiting for a Castellia cone. Maybe over this way. I don't think I've been down this alley yet. Definitely is one by the docks, was there? Look at all these busy people running back and forth. Their city lives. Let's see here. I never remember where the hell anything is in this damn place. The city always confuses the hell out of me. By the way, um, where do you get the experience share? Was it someone- was there an NPC in this place for it? I don't remember where it is in vanilla black and white. Ah, there he is. What do you want? Oh, dance team. You're gonna introduce me to the team? Before that, let's battle. 
I was great in Pokemon lessons. I think it's on top of the Battle Company. Oh, that building. Because I could really use that for, um... A battle- a gauntlet battle of trainers? Was that a thing? I don't remember that. Well, if I got Hidden Power Bug, I can't really do much here. Resist the fire. Use the rage. That might be something I always skip, then. Lick! Ew. Look how boring Seamus here is. Like, even its pose, it like it looks like it doesn't even want to be here. Seamus here is the Pokemon. It goes to its family at Thanksgiving, and its mom is just like, Why can't you be like your brother, Infernape? Why you gotta be like- Why you just being Seamus here? I heard Infernape was on an Elite Four members team. What have you been doing? Oh, you know, just being Simus here. He's shrugging at life. Well, I got body. Let Togetic hit it with Tri Attack. <laughs> it has accepted its face. Even its hair, it doesn't look like fire. It looks like it's just messy. Let's go. You know, it would make a really funny comic that I just could, like, not be arsed to draw. Like, imagine, like, an Infernape going around just being a badass Pokemon. It could even be, like, a Mystery Dungeon team. Someone could do this in, like, a ROM hack, actually. Just like an Infernape, and he's followed around by this Simiseer that really wants to be as powerful as him, but he can't because he's Simiseer. <laughs> what was that? Oh, the dance team. I'll join. Just like your father. Let me see here. Is this the battle company here? I gotta go heal, though. Passerby Anal- Okay, that doesn't matter. I don't mean to break the illusion chat, but I can't play multiplayer stuff in this. Welcome to the Infernape Guild. The story of a Simiseer trying to join. Even among the elemental monkeys, Simiseer is the least popular. Okay. Um. Bode Street. Stellia Street. Let's see, let's look for it. No, read it, please. Narrow Street. This one? Pokemon Gym. Hang on, no, it's at the it's at the far back street, wasn't it? I really want to get that, if I can. Uh, the EXP share, I mean. Wait, do they give me something for this? Thanks, man. I've got the best team in the world. That's how I feel. Oh, right. That's how you get the amulet coin. Communicate by dancing. It's how we say happy things, sad things. How we say the world shines brightly. Central Plaza. here. And what's the sign say? Route 4 ahead. I don't actually know which which one the battle company building was at. Hello, I'm the name raider. Oh no, get away from me. I'm the feeling raider. Uh, feeling checks using sea gears. Good for you. Can't change the name of a Pokemon because the name contains the wishes. What about here? Does anyone here give me stuff? The 11th floor. Oh, hang on. I think you could battle in here. Yeah, this is one of the things I was looking for. I secretly invented a special machine. Only people who know the secret password can use it. Oh. Uh. I don't know what that is. Seems you don't know the password. My name is Mr. Locke. I'm a magical clown who can open anything. Your name is Asprey. I'll see you again, I'm sure. This is like... Isn't this like the stuff for the event that wasn't released? Or is that a different building? 
For Zorua and Snarl. Alright, we already have Snarl now, so I don't know what's for. Bye bye. He opens the capsule. I talked to a lot of people upstairs. It was fun. I'm invited to a party, but the person in front of the elevator wants to pat me down. Or is it just my imagination? You want to go up? You don't seem to have anything suspicious. You can go. Of course I don't have anything suspicious. Do you think Teddy Streamer Man has anything suspicious? The only thing on me is my love of Teddy's. 47th floor. Yeah, I think this is it. Welcome to my party. Please enjoy conversations. Hey trainer, check out my moves. Have you seen have you gone to the city yet? I learned this move at the musical. Pretty cool. That's it. You speak in German. Hello, have you tried a Castellia cone yet? I managed to buy one on Tuesday. I'm sure some of the many German viewers in, in my chat can tell me what they what they said. My boyfriend isn't good at getting out of bed in the morning. In fact, he's so slow getting out of bed that I asked his Pokemon to use Wake Up Slap on him. Ma'am, you've just admitted to a crime to me. I hope you realize that. Did you see the dress that the supermodel Alyssa was wearing? Whatever Alyssa wears is beautiful. Is this not it either? Oh, your Pokemon are so charming. I want cute Pokemon too, so I can use this. Attract? Ah, maybe. That might come in handy if we get walled by something silly. This makes, uh, this move makes your Pokemon unbearably, unbearably charming. All Pokemon of the opposite gender will fall in love. I've asked my Pokemon to use Sing instead of setting an alarm clock, but I cannot get up at all. Jow. Is that Italian? I don't know. Hard to get up in the morning after a fun day like today. Spanish. Okay, no one here gave me the EXP share, but I got a track TM. Jao is Italian, yes. And that last one was Spanish. I knew it. Well, it wasn't that one either. What about this one? I know, but which building is the battle company? That's what I can't find. My Patrat's ability is keen eye. Even Smokescreen and Sand Attack can't lower accuracy. You think it's a good idea to provide a service to raise Pokemon for trainers? What, there's a daycare on Route 3? What kinds of abilities do your Pokemon have? Okay, it is the street with the center. I thought it, it had a, that street had a specific name and I couldn't find it there. Either way, I got stuff. I got the amulet coin and attract. It's good to get as many TMs as you can in hacks like this, for sure. This one? Yeah, is it this building? I hope so. Hello. You like I will massage your Pokemon. I guess that's for friendship. When Pokemon are happy, I'm happy. When Pokemon see me laughing... Hang on. Let me see if I can find a sign out there. There's a thing over there. Wait, so you're saying it's like on this right here? It's not back there? Is this it? Oh. I thought I checked this. <sighs> well, whatever. I thought I checked that. And that was like the thing for the multiplayer or whatever. People who work in this building have Pokemon battles, not opinion battles. You appear to be strong. If you go upstairs, please be careful. Okay, wacky janitor man. Every morning, my Pokemon wakes me up with wake-up slap, so I always look like a wreck, but I appreciate it. its good intentions, so I'll work my hardest to provide for it today, as always. Buddy, I got some news about your girlfriend. She's been the one telling the Pokemon to do that. 47. Welcome to the Battle Company. Since you're here, battle with me. I won't take no for an answer. Working here sounds like an HR nightmare. Imagine, like, you work at a company, but the rule is you have to, like, enter combat with everyone. Also, office ladies with polywags. Polywag, though. Oh, 
Oh, we have a lot of people here. That's nice. Lots of people to see me get lost in Castelia. Everyone gets lost in Castelia. No one cares enough to remember where everything is. Most of the time. <laughs> I mean, they work at the Battle Company. What else do they do there? Imagine you work at a company that makes knives, and everyone was required to enter into knife fights with all visitors. That would be a bad idea. Don't do that. A little bit there, a little bit there. Star you. I'm staying in. Star you is trying to balance. Damn it. You're about to kill me. And that is not good. I'll switch in you. Get intimidated. Recover, you jerk. Give it a snarl. Yeah, that'll make it pay. The rain stopped. Azumarill. Quite a jump from the unevolved Pokemon you started with. Mm. Axew is about to level up, so I'll send in Axew and then switch to Boopy. What are the benefits at the Battle Company? I don't know. <clears throat> People in Pokemon are just weird. Hang on. Ugh, I need a drink. I just kind of choked in my own air. Look at that funny bunny. It thinks it's usable. Probably doesn't even have huge power. How does the company generate revenue? I don't know, maybe they film the battles and put it on the internet. Well, it doesn't have Sap Sipper right now. Break the egg. Max, you grew level 24. Here we go. Ball swipe. I could use that for catching later. I don't really need dual chop. Dual chop is like extremely underwhelming, even by early game standards. Goldeen. Just do that. Leaf Tornado. Oh dear, aren't you being too hard on me? Company tour or some Pokemon practice? Either way, I'm glad you came. I'm happy, so I'll give you these. Oh, Calm Mind. That's good. I'm very happy, so I'll give you another presence. Bulk up. Okay, best of both word worlds here. Calm mind boost the special stats. Ba -ba -ba. Bulk up boost the physical stats. I am pleased to meet you. Please allow me to introduce you to my Pokemon. Who'd put Pokemon battles on the internet? Yeah, who'd do that? Who'd do such a thing? Oh, he's got Loudred. Thing that never closes its mouth. Alrighty then. Hmm. Um, actually, you know what I could do? Maybe send in Houndoom will be fine because of Intimidate. How do you think Loudred chews its food when its teeth are on the outside of its mouth? Because I don't think it can close its mouth and the teeth will be inside. Well then, that sucks. Astonish? That's all you got? Not even a stab normal option. Hmm? Almost. Almost. 
Incinerate to eliminate. More 16. My Lotic got to level 20. Damn, that's good. Curlia. Hey, new I got news for you. No fairy types. Rip them apart. Ooh, pardon me. I'm trying to hold back the cough all of a sudden. Jeez. Thank you, Demon Slayer, for that. <clears throat> for the resub there. You switch Pokemon? No, I'm gonna stay in. No Intimidate, but we have Incinerate. Double kick. Jeez, that was a crit. Oh, that's bad. Hang on, it's fine. I don't let Incinerate. Need Arena. Mm. Um, I think I'll just let Togetic hit it with Tri Attack. Hang on, I need to mute and just like clear my throat. Oh, much better, jeez. Holding that back for a little bit. I'm alive and okay. <laughs> There's really no reason for me to have stored power. No reason at all. Poison Sting is pretty bad. The arena fainted. Excellent. I had the honor of meeting your Pokemon. Yes, you did. Oh. He had a line of sight. Just because I'm a scientist, people think I'm so serious. Scientist Randall. Now, what do the scientists do with the Battle Company? Oh, Abra floats? I didn't know that. I didn't know it's Gen 5 animation did that. I know it uses the Gen 4 sprite as a base. Why do its eyes look like it's blinking? That's weird. Actually, maybe I can handle it. It's only Abra. I'll try that. Oh. Hmm. Get another darn throw clear here. Oh boy. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it is it is bug. It has to be. Smelling salt. He's going metronome strats. I'd say this confirms it, yeah. A special attack for bug type isn't the worst thing ever. Blast burn, oh. Well that's so good for me, I guess. Yeah, having a special bug move on my Milotic isn't too bad. Could use it to hit the grass types if I have to come out against them. I'm not gonna outspeed them though most of the time. Magnemite. Well, that I definitely can't fight. Hound Doom can just use Incinerate. It should outspeed Magnemite. It should be fine. Wait, Gen 5 Sturdy. Doesn't Magnemite have that? Or just gonna is it going to have Magnet Pole? Let's find out. Aha! Magnet Pole it is. Chuckle. Chuckle. That's annoying. Could hit it with um, Dragon Rage while we have a chance. Comes the Shuckles. Ooh, you have no HP, boy. Couldn't do a damn thing. Ooh, that's a lot. Spinda. Do this. And switch the Togetic. Which 
Jekyll has massive defenses, but it has a terrible HP stat, which kind of, like, really negates a lot of that, doesn't it? Like, Shuckle's supposed to be, like, the hyper-defensive Pokemon, but in most casual runs, like, you can just still sweep it like any Rock-type, it feels like. Unless your name is Crystal Kaizo, where they buff it even further and it becomes a pain in the ass. Did you know you can use Rest out of Sleep Talk in Gen 2? I know that, because the ones in Crystal Kaizo kept doing that. Here we go. We're gonna try and attack with we'll try attack. Do it again. Copycat. Uh oh. Uh oh. And I still got him. Togetic sweep. Wish? Um. I mean, I don't need stored power. I may as well do this. <laughs> it's not gonna do much. X, you also got the level. That's good. Jocking, I lost. Whoa. Hang on. Need to heal a little bit. These are kind of uh, messing me up a tad. I haven't really been carrying much in the way of potions, have I? Sure. Do that. Be healed, little friends. Be healed. Now, do I have... I don't have a paralyzed heal. Do I have a berry? I don't even have a cherry berry. Damn. Well, that sucks. I probably should just put the amulet coin on someone. I guess if my low tick's coming out first right now. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm better at Pokemon battles than I am at work. We're about to find out how bad she is at work. You know that's how it's about to go. Alberta. Alberta? It's not a name. That's a location in Canada. I've never met anyone named Alberta before. I've heard the name Albert, but not like, you know, Alberta is like a feminine name there. Intimidate. Confusion? Why do you know that? That's weird. I'd like to apologize to all Albertas watching right now, but I'm not sure if you're real. Alberto. That's true. That's also another one. You know an Alberta, actually? Do ya. Beat up. Um, that's a physical move. No, no, no. You don't need that. Snarl's just gonna be better. Bloom? Ah, uh, yeah, let me just keep sweeping it. It's also a name here in Spain and Italy. Okay. Gloom is trying to wipe the drool from its mouth. Come on, Gloom. Why you gotta be so sleepy? And it's dead. Weeping Bell, we'll keep going. Keep going. Isn't Gloom's drool supposed to be, like, taste sweet? I mean, Weeping Bell's drool would just be, like, acid, so... Lucky Weeping Bell's not the one doing that. Grovile! Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go all in and get to level 27. Check it out. Remade Sprite. I don't think this one's based on, um, a Gen 4 sprite, either. Grovile has a history of some awkward-looking sprites. Like, even in Gen 3, it's, uh, it's party sprite and, um, back sprite look very awkward. 
Like, if you've ever used Grovile, it just, it looks gross when you send it out into battle in Gen 3. There we go. A competent woman is good, is as good at battles as she is at her work. Revive. Clerks exchange business cards. Trainers, of course, greet each other with a battle. Alrighty. Next battle, let's go. Clerk Warren, you can put your stuff on the table for a second, man. It's locked. What? What? Excuse me? Excuse me? Did that slack off just have slow start? Huh? Can't just take Truant off of slack off. Actually, it's debate. Which one's worse? What do you think? Slow start or Truant? Maybe it can have both. Because I didn't see the one I ran into before have that prompt. Oh boy. You're trying to kill me, but I'm going to kill you. Strange, isn't it? True, it's much worse. You can stall out slow start with protect moves. True enough, but it takes five damn turns. Oh boy. One crit. I missed. Slackoff's getting those five turns. Slackoff got its act together? Hell no. Baby Sloth is sleeping. Chat, would you pet the Sloth? Why did it wake up right away? This thing is pissing me off. Can I have one crit, please? Oh my. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm killing it. Hmm? He's stalling me out. He doesn't even need to anymore. Yeah, slack off now, you jerk. Onyx. If only I had a water move on my water type, I could do something with that, but no. I'll just let, um, Boopy hit it with Leap Tornado, I guess. Don't pet real sloths. They have giant claws and are quite fast. Yeah, real sloths will mess you up, from what I hear. Like, really mess you up. Oh, pardon me. Ah, uh, small. Throat's a little iffy today, apparently. There we go. I do remember the giant zombie sloth from House of the Dead 3. I was thinking of playing that game with my brother sometime. Um, I should have a copy of the Wii port of House of the Dead 2 and 3 somewhere. Quagsire, and... I want to switch into it on my low tech, so we'll do this. There is another House of the Dead game. The only one you can get on Steam is House of the Dead Overkill, which I absolutely cannot stream that. That one is, like, literally unstreamable because of its humor. There we go. It certainly lives up to the name Overkill, I can tell you that. Let's see. It's fun to play, though, on the, the typing of the dead mode, because it comes with that on Steam. See here. Leap tornado. Is it offensive humor? We'll see. House of the Dead Overkill. The whole game. The whole game. 
is a parody of, like, old, like, movies, right? So, like, every level is, is a movie, but it's really, it's like an over-the-top, like, buddy cop movie where everyone swears and the humor is raunchy as hell. And it, ta it absolutely, li like, rolls with the idea of being overkill. It plays into the, you know, how cheesy the original House of the Dead games were. You see here. I guess we can get rid of Tackle for this. One of the pro tags is just Samuel L. Jackson who says M, F, or every other line. Yeah, he does. He does. Every other line, it's like, no. Can't play that. YouTube will demonetize the hell out of it. Well, anything left we can fight in this room or what? I'm in charge of development. I'm going to give you this because you came here for a company tour. Scope lens. Okay. Um, maybe I could just put it on Houndoom or something. We're getting some good items by searching around, I have to say. Hmm. Let's see here. That's everyone here. 55. Can I go right to you, or do I gotta do this? I for potion. I gotta at least fight one guy, it seems. An unfamiliar face. To help scientific progress, please lend me a hand. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm, pardon me. Scientist Steve. He's got a drift loon. Is that what they're studying at the Battle Company? Possibly. Um, these moves aren't gonna work for you. You should be okay to send in you, though. Alright. Oh. Pardon me, I keep needing a drink of water. I'm, like, dying today. Dire hit. That's fine. Go for the snarl. Did Sega ever make another House of the Dead game after Overkill? I'm not sure if they did. I don't remember hearing anything about it. Wait, there was that House of the Dead 1 remake that was garbage. Um, it's only a baby mod. I'll stay in against it. Go for the snarl. The remake of one, I did play it. I was thinking of doing it as a stream, but it's very... The issue people have with it is that it's a very, um... It, it, it very much doesn't have a whole lot of content is the issue. Hold up a second. I'm dying again. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, the remake came out. It was like $40, which is like 50 here in Canada. And, um... It's basically like four levels long, right? And when it came out, people were like, why does it cost this much when you can beat it in like an hour? It didn't really have a replay, a lot of replayability to make it like that. Newest House of the Dead um, is called Scarlet Dawn, only an arcade release. Okay. I didn't hear about that one, that's cool. I mean, I do have it on Steam still, I could do it. I was gonna do it for the arcade series. I had I was doing a bit last year, but um, I was kind of like, man, this is kind of too easy as hell. By the way, I, there's actually a funny trick you can do in the House of the Dead one remake. Um, what do you think here? So there's a button for reloading the gun, and a button for shooting, and the reload is instant in that game. And I realized that you can just press reload and shoot at the same time, and you will never run out of bullets. And it, it kind of tires your fingers a little bit, but it's hilarious that it, you can do that. Let's see here, you pretty much have to do it for final boss. Um, I don't know, if you guys want to see me play House of the Dead, I could do that for the spooky days I have planned. Starting with next week, I was going to dedicate one stream day a week just for spooky games. I thought that'd be nice. I was about to take a break, then I met you. 
spooky games good. And more, I need more arcade stuff, too. I didn't get a whole chance to do a lot last time. Yeah, I could do Night Cry again. Why not? Night Cry is cool. If only I had a water move. If only. Excellent. Here we go. I did have a fun playlist of arcade games I was doing last year, but I put a lot of stuff on hold. Because, yeah, last year was just a mess for everybody, let's be real. By the way, volume and everything all good? Dolent is dead. 21. Clam Pearl. Hmm. Okay, good. Sounds good. I'll let Axew just Dragon Rage this. Daddy is ready to duel. Let's see here. For arcade stuff, um... There was some, like, roguelikes on Steam I wanted to do one-offs of for that. And there's also, like, a ton of fighting games you can just buy on Steam. I could just play their arcade mode while screwing around. Because why the heck not? Sometimes playing in arcade mode on the highest difficulty lets you see some really stupid, like, um... AI opponents. Mortal, the old Mortal Kombat's are in, are like infamous for that because they literally cheat, like actual literal cheating. All right, thank you for the resub there, Purple Tombori. Tombori, ugh, can't talk. Holly World looks like a little friend, but he's body slamming the baby. Do that. I think in general that's a big thing I want to do. I need to play like more. I want to play, like, more more indie games and obscure games. I played it a bit safe last year. And I still kind of am sometimes, but there's games I want to play that I haven't played before. Like, Earthbound is on the list still. That's probably going to happen next week, now that I finished Lies of P in the recent stream. Send in Boopy. It's only a Marsh Tomp. Mudshot. Let's go. Boopy's speed rose. Ooh, so sorry. You shouldn't have done that, Marsh Tom. Excellent. 532. And we got that. This encounter was a good one. Not the CEO. It's fancy pants, though. Oh, you're the trainer I met at the entrance. You've come this far. That means you must be strong. Are you prepared to face the strongest person in the building? Are you prepared to face the chairman? Then the time has come. I'm the one. I accept your challenge. This guy's just got a bit of everything right now. Janitor Jeff. He looks so happy to be a janitor. I have not been able to fight anything that my Melotic can fight with Hidden Power Bug and Twister. As soon as I get that Scald TM, this whole damn place is gonna feel sorry. On this week's episode of Undercover Boss. I never really understood those those shows. It's like, hey, would you guys like to meet this new employee, uh, Jimmy? Don't mind the camera crew that's following him around, but would you mind telling us your sad life stories? To make him feel bad? Come on, let's get let's get all that on the camera, please. Um Could give a lot of EXP actually, so you know what? I'll switch to my low tech again. You ever just watch a reality show and you just have to wonder the pe how awkward the people feel with all the cameras around them? Because the cameras are always moving around in a way where you can't see the other cameras in the shot. Ain't that funny, bunny? Oh boy. Apparently they claim the bosses are part of some other reality show on about new hires. Ah, uh, okay. Incinerate. I'm about to set this bunny on fire.
Incinerate doesn't have a chance to burn, did it? Oh, I missed. Oh, and she jump kicked me. That's unfortunate. I'll just let Pidgeotto do it. I know Incinerate can roast berries, but I just didn't know if it also had a burn chance. Baton Pass. What are you doing? Passed on your, um, lowered attack to him. Good job. Big pecs. Finish. There you go. Okay, low punny's coming out, but my attack's lowered. Um... I'm gonna see if I can land a try attack even while I'm paralyzed. This should be okay. Only caught a few things, because the thing about getting to Castelia and like any version of black and white is there's nothing to really catch. It's just buildings to explore, right? That is a bit of a downside with how big this place is, but they really wanted to show off that they could make a big city. Again. Oh, come on. Please don't get paralyzed this turn. Yes. Alright, I need Pidgeona to win this. Yeah, the sewers are in black and white, too, but even then, they're just like a dungeon within the city. They're not really part of the city, city map, so to speak. You know what I mean. At least the sewers are something to do in the middle of visiting Castelia. Like, isn't there, like, a reason or something you have to go down there with you? Yeah, let's do it. Perfect. Okay, hit level 29. Perfect. Wow, you really cleaned up. Everyone still got experience for the low punny, even though the switch happened. I didn't realize Gen 5 did that. I disguised myself as a janitor because I like to know what kinds of trainers come here. I had a good time battling you. Is it token of my esteem? EXP shares. Oh, multiple. Wait, is that what Blaze Black only does? Pokemon holding an experience share gets some of the EXP from every battle, even if it's not involved. That's right, it may be useful for raising weak Pokemon. Excellent. They gave me six? Ooh. Now, hang on. I don't know how Gen if Gen 5's EXP system changes this, but does the EXP share divide everything up if I give multiple? Or does it, is it effectively the same as if I switch through all five or six Pokemon and let one kill? Like, I'm kind of curious how that works. If you spread them across all six, it'll give them all very little. It's like switching through all. All right, well, which one is it then? I'm asking about Gen 5, not uh, what, what you randomly remember. It does divide. That way, though? Okay, I see. For now, I can just give it to my low tick, though. Hang on. I don't think I checked, but I can't teach Flame Charge to Axew, right? Because that might be good for the Bug Gem. Unable. Alrighty, then. It's a physical attacker, so giving it Incinerate wouldn't be worth it. There's still more to fight here, but, uh, let's leave. I need to heal. First floor. Do you think he he expects us to have beaten everyone on the floors up to the... up to floor 55? Because I only took the elevator to the two floors. There's also no stairs there. That's a, that's a big fire hazard. Like, I'm sorry, but, like, if a... if a floor 
only can be accessible through elevator, that crap is just terrifying to me. Because if something goes wrong with the power or there's a fire, that place is your tomb. You're never getting out. Bicycle. Yay. Is Jim here? Go here. Go fight the remaining trainers later. Hey, Aspri, I just challenged the gym leader. He's a seasoned gym leader. He made me work for that badge. But for me, bug-type Pokemon aren't much of a challenge. I'm gonna keep winning like this against all of Unova Region's gym leaders. Then I'll head for the league and I'll perform the champion. If I do that, everyone will admit what a strong trainer I am. That will make me feel truly alive. Alrighty. Aha! You're the one who fought Team Plasma in Pinwheel Forest. If I remember, your name is... Asprey. Come to challenge the gym, I suppose. Sorry, but could you wait a bit? I was informed Team Plasma has shown up. In fact, come with me. I'm gonna go to the dock at Prime Pier. We're gonna steal Pokemans. Now, which one was it? I don't remember which one Prime Pier is, but I'll find it. Gonna refuse the check. I'll just check them all. Where, where, where? There we go. Come on, this way. Team Plasma, they took this young lady's Pokemon. Asprey, is there anything we can do? My Muna! Team Plasma took it. I heard this lady scream and I ran after the thief as fast as I could. The city's so big and crowded, I'm afraid I lost them. Iris, you did everything you could. That's so bad! Taking people's Pokemon is really bad. Because it's really nice when people and Pokemon are together. They each have something the other doesn't, and they help each other. Iris? Agreed. No fear. We will get that Pokemon back. Asprey? Having said that, finding a person or Pokemon here in Castellia City will be finding it like finding a needle in a haystack. I spy a gym leader. Last time went so well, I thought I'd grab another Pokemon. Rethinking. I need to get out of here. Asprey, let's go. Iris, you stay by that young lady's side. Well, better get going. I'm gonna be Bianca's bodyguard, so you go after those bad guys, okay? Bianca needing Iris as a bodyguard is funny, because Iris is just, like, tiny compared to her. Go. There we go. Uh... I don't remember where they head at this point. Oh, there you are. It's kind of funny to think about that Iris is the... is now the good... the good grandchild now. Now that we know that Dray, uh, Drayton is a thing. That way. Mm-hmm. They're heading toward the gym. Do you think the reason he had to go to the Blueberry Academy is because he just, like, didn't want to do crap? Probably. This is definitely the place. No one's here, not a soul. No other Team Plasma members or any of the Seven Sages are inside. If you think I'm lying, why don't we have a battle and find out? I had a thought. I'll take care of the weak-looking runt, and so you can show off by handling that tough-looking guy over there. Oh, please, Asprey, I'll leave that one to you. That's right, Iris is so good, she became the champ. Throw it out. Drayton went off to Blueberry Academy, so Drayton could just be like, Hey, uh, Iris is now the gym leader. Also, she's now the champion. Why can't you be like you- be like you- you- be like Iris? Why can't you be like her? Come on! Let me see here. Also, I just got nearly bodied by a combi. Let me see. And you know 
I'll just let Houndoom get in there. I wasn't quite clear on that. I don't know if that's something that's only mentioned in white version or the anime. But, like, um... Iris calls Drayton Grandpa. Like, um, hang on a second. Let me see here. Set the bees on fire. Won't be fainted. We don't see anything about her, uh, her or Drayton's parents. Uh, Shedinja, Jesus. Okay. Like, are all the parents just dead? Drayton has the hair that actually makes it look like he's he's uh, Drayton. Come on. Drayton, Drayden. I have to, like, emphasize the T or the D so you know which one I'm talking about now. Because if I just say it fast, it, you could probably interpret it either way. Okay, my low ticket, the 22. No water move still. No stocks. Well, Lacey is, is Clay's daughter, yeah. Did you guys realize that, like, if you re rearrange the letters in Lacey, it can spell Clay? With an E. <laughs> you can rearrange some of the letters in Lacey to spell Clay, but she has an Excadrill, so that's the dead giveaway there. Plasma Grunt. Come on, seriously, all I did was take away people's Pokemon. These guys respond like a social media post. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad for Team Plasma, or Plas bad for short. It's in my best interest to go report to the Seven Sages now. I remember as a kid when I see like the evil team member dialogue, I thought there's no way people this stupid actually exist. Then as I got older, and I was required more to use social media as a YouTuber, and I'm like, oh no, wait, people are this stupid. You know, we got lost. Even with directions from the X Transceiver, I couldn't figure it out. Team Plasma's inside. Stolen Pokemon may be in there as well. I'm going in. Okay, this time, I'll join the fight. Come on, Bianca. You too. W wait! Espy, you come too. There you go. I got a little bit of in there for you. Boy. What's your excuse? My word, if it isn't the gym leader, Berg. So what would you say is the guiding principle of Team Plasma anyway? Take what you want from people? I thought it would be amusing to prepare a hideout right in front of a Pokemon gym, but we were detected more quickly than I imagine. I'm so smart! We'll hide in plain sight. Indeed. Look at that goofy smile on his sprite. No matter, we already have an exceptional base of operations. Is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the Innova region? I am. It's the Black Dragon Pokemon, right? The truth is this. The Black Dragon appeared before a hero who sought the ideal way to knit together a world full of warring people. Thus, this Black Dragon Pokemon shared its knowledge and bared its fangs at those who stood against it. Together, the power of this Pokemon and the hero brought unity to the hearts of everyone in the land. That is how Unova was created. Oh, when do we get to the part about American Thanksgiving? How do they explain that one in Unova? We shall bring back the hero and that Pokemon to Unova once again. If we can win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create a world that I- I, I mean Team Plasma desires. Mmm, I almost let it slip there. Oh. Here in Castelia, we have a lot of different kinds of people. Everyone's ways of thinking and lifestyles are very different. Honestly, there's something about what you're saying I don't quite understand. One thing we all have in common is that we all care a lot about Pokemon. Even people meeting for the first time can talk about Pokemon. Talk, battle, or trade. Remember your speech at Accumulatown? You are responsible for leading me to rethink my location Location? What the hell am I reading? Relationship with Pokemon! For that, I thank you. At that time, I made a promise. I swore to myself that I would dedicate myself to Pokemon even more strongly. What you guys are doing, aren't you going to strengthen the bond between people and Pokemon more? Yeah, ha 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 ha! 
You are quite hard to figure out. A little more intelligent than I expected. I am fond of intelligent people, you see. You'll enjoy hearing about this. From every corner of the world, I have gathered knowledgeable people for our king's benefit. We would call them the Seven Sages. Very well, we will submit to your opinion and be on our way. That girl over there, return her Pokemon. Una. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you. Money, I am so glad to see you. Bianca, why are you thanking them? They take people's precious Pokemon. It's just, I'm so happy that my Muna is safe. Bianca's a little, getting a little pushed around. Don't apologize when someone co does the correct thing for you. The friendship between Pokemon and people can be very touching, but in order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will revive the legend of Unova and win the hearts and minds of everyone. Farewell. Oh boy. What are you doing? Why are you letting them get away? Gah. What do we do if anything's happened to the other stolen Pokemon? It's okay. Thank you, Iwis. No one was hurt more than anything. I got my darling Pokemon back. Okay, if you're happy. What is everyone planning to do now? Oh, it would be sensational to look around Castelia City, but... Don't worry, I'll keep being your bodyguard. Iris. Ahem, that's great. Iris is a dazzling trainer, but maybe not at home in the big city yet. So, a little give and take, hmm? People and Pokemon need to help each other out. Also, thanks for looking for the Pokemon. Here, this is for you. A Yashe Berry. See ya. Oh, she just shoved Bianca out of there. Well then, Asprey, I'll be waiting at the gym. Oh boy. Smoky Ball. Alrighty, can I finally go to the gym? We've been running around this town for a while because it's Castelia. Hey, Berg, are you ready? That's not the entrance. What am I doing? Get it, get it. There you go. There you go. We're inside. We're inside. Oh, yeah. This place is filled with honey. Wait a second. That's perfect for Teddy. This place is a dream come true for Teddy Ursus. Let me do a couple battles and I'll go back and heal. What would happen if I just took out a bunch of Teddy Ursus, caught like 30 of them, and unleashed the whole box in this gym? Can you imagine like the excitement as they run around just like grabbing the walls and licking them? That would be so wholesome. This place is a lawsuit waiting to happen, I tell you though. Your adorable chaos. That was the Castalia Gym are beautiful. They're pure arts. That's how clowns talk, right? Clowns have to talk in like uh, a funny little tone. If they talk normally, they're just weird. Thank you for the resub there, GFM. Whew. Wait, wait, he's got Metapod? Bro, Metapod. What are you fooling? You trying to bamboozle me? Show that you care. Unleash your teddy bears. Frick it's hot. This guy is suspiciously weak. Suspiciously weak. Teddy just goes right straight forward to Berg through the walls. <laughs> Maybe. What is this dude's problem here? He, like, he shouldn't be having Pokemon this bad. Suddenly, Volcarona. Maybe he's just meant to be free XP. Nope, he's definitely just meant to be a waste of my time is what he is. Which live notifications have been uh, letting you know? Yeah, that seems to be the case for every website lately. No one gets notified of anything they actually look for. Even to this day, I still have people that tell me that, like, my, my videos that they uh, sub for don't even show up in their sub box. 
On the VOD channel, it happens a lot. People are like, wait, you uploaded this? I didn't get notified of this. It'll be like weeks later. Falling beautifully is also an art. Ugh. Talking like that. You step on two switches, two lamps will light up and a gate will open. It's also an art. Sticky, gooey mess. My ten ears says in the box right now because we don't really need it. You step on a switch, the one that pops out is moi. On that note, have a battle with moi. Let's go, go, go. Five Pokemon. Once again, something silly. I'm gonna need to go back and refill my Incinerate PP soon. Ninety-five accuracy, and I missed. Come on. If the clown is French, doesn't that make it a mime? It should. I don't know the rules. They're all referred to as a harlequin, though. Not clowns. You know, chat, maybe I'm gonna sound like an old man when I say this, but I feel like the term clown has lost all meaning. Like, people just use it as, like, an insult to describe literally anybody they don't like now. What about the professional clowns out there? They have a bad reputation now just because of it all. More shame. Bull beat fainted. Okay, some of that. We're getting there. We're slowly, slowly getting there. Light Illumise on fire. Eight six one. Butterfree. The last guy should have had that. Instead, he had Metapod. Metapod for crying out loud. Well, this is a pain in the ass, but we can deal with it. This is still good XP. My low tick will be getting stuff. I don't think this guy is trying to build a meta team. Oh, you're making a joke about Metapod. Oh, I see. Beautifly. I should probably switch now. Um... Let Togetic do it. I have Pidgeotto, but I don't need to use it. In the context of a Poke Pokedex playthrough, it's we're, we can't really get a whole lot caught today, can we? Castellia just doesn't have anything to really catch because it's mostly just buildings. Getting some good items and all that. There's a few things in the desert, which I did grab, but we don't. there's no big rush to catch any of those because they're common Pokemon we can find all over. I'm trying to remember, is there any other town that, like, slows the game down as much as Castellia? I think Castellia is the worst of it, right? Like, it is literally the, one of the largest cities in all of Pokemon. Another reason they added the sewers to two, yeah. Having, being able to explore the New York sewers in Pokemon was a missed opportunity to have Ninja Turtles. That would have been awesome to find down there. But no, instead we find Eevee. Kill. Beautifly defeated. Dirty. My low tick's getting a crap ton from that. I wasn't hiding under the floor just to lose, but you did lose, because you're a loser. I didn't make battle instincts at all, you know. Teddy wants that honey right now. 
If I had a drooling Teddy Ursa emote, I'd probably put it in the corner. But right now, the bear is ready to duel. Teddy's cards are probably getting sticky with Honey, though, which isn't very good. No, don't worry. The bear plays with sleeved cards only. It's a pain in the ass to shuffle them. He tries. Teddy needs some gloves before he plays cards. Come to think of it, his claws would probably rip the cardboard apart, too. Okay, let's head back in. Took out a couple. Um, hang on a second. I should let Houndoom get one more level, I'd say. I could let Axew just, like, Dragon Rage a couple of them, too. Hang on. My low tick is level 24, but the problem is my low tick needs moves. My low tick can't, has the stats, but can't do anything because I don't have a water TM. Which feels bad, man. Well, I'm glad you think the playthrough's fun, friend. I'm enjoying it, too. Pokedex runs are fun to just put on the background while I just, like, talk about whatever and catch whatever. And considering there's 649 mons, there's no big rush if we have an episode where we only catch a few, that's fine. Now, come on. Step on the switch. Moi. Hey, I was about to say, didn't I already fight that one? Ding, ding. Honey. You think any Teddy Ursus could get stuck in the honey? I feel like this is a safety hazard. big safety hazard. If bears get hurt, then it's our duty to protect them. Yeah! Thank you for going to the trouble of calling me out. I'll channel my gratitude into my Pokemon's moves and make sure it gets to you. If they get stuck, they just keep eating it. His name is Rick and he's gonna dwebble. Hey, two Dragon Rage should be okay. Rock polish. It's a little crab. He's going for a bug bite. I probably should put like the amulet coin on Axew or something if I'm gonna put him up front. I got the scope lens on Houndoom, which could be okay. Air blast. I'll keep going. This is a massive health code violation. That stuff can't be sanitary and would be toxic. Oh god, you're right. If the honey's left out like this, it can't be- it can't taste good at all. You could say the same thing about Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Like, you know how they have that big river of chocolate? There's no way that's sanitary. Especially when a child falls in and dies there. Especially it can't be sanitary there. Swadloon. I'm pretty sure there's like several videos on YouTube that talk about the legality of Wonka's Chocolate Factory. I'm sure. There we go. Alrighty, let's get him. Five nineteen, Whirlipede. Everyone's like a chocolate river would be cool, but then you get like it gross, like human sweat and all that. That'd be gross. Who wants human sweat in there? That's gross. Houndoom. Come to think of it, didn't they make a new like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie? I don't know. I feel like everything has a reboot every three years now. I don't even really watch movies. Here, I can tell you the whole plot right now. Kid kid wants to win a trip to the chocolate factory. Eventually does. Then his grandpa, who's bedridden, suddenly can walk again. Is like, I want to go to the chocolate factory too. And then a bunch of people die. Let me see here. Captivate. Nah, you don't need that. 
It was a prequel? Oh god, the, the Willy Wonka universe has expanded. Uh, Shelmet? Let's stay in. You enjoyed it? It was good? Okay. I don't know much about it. Is it like the rise to Willy Wonka's power? Did the, did the people in the book actually die, or was that changed for the movie? That's a good question, actually, yeah. I was defeated by your strong spirit. If you hadn't stepped on that switch, I'd be stuck hidden away. That's right, bug gym trainers like to be bugged. They didn't die in the books. Okay. I would imagine that'd be kind of messed up. You know, hang on a second. Is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory public domain? Or is it like one company just still kind of has like all the rights to the movies and they just keep making movies to keep the rights? Because you know what would be really funny? Or not really funny. Because everyone's doing it. You know how like whenever something becomes public domain now, someone makes like a, a horror movie based off of it? Someone should make Charlie and the Blood Factory. It's not public domain. Okay. <laughs> It was released in 1964. Yeah, um, hang on a second. There he is. Public domain has to be 95 years after the original. Okay. Outrageous and mysterious charms. Did you guys know that Batman is going to become public domain in like 10 years? But a lot of people really misunderstand what that means. Like, when Batman becomes part of the public domain, you can't just, like, you can't just make, like, any Batman thing for... Like, you can't just make any Batman media. Because, like, DC, DC still owns, like, a hundred years worth of stories around Batman, so you have to basically just, like, use the idea of Batman on your own, if that makes sense. It's hard to explain. But, like, you know, all Batman supporting characters and everything, they're not going to be public domain. Stuff that's happened to Batman in other stories is... It, it's like, think of, like, Dracula and Castlevania. Like, obviously that Dracula isn't Bram Stoker's Dracula, but it's its own character, but it's the idea of Dracula, if that makes sense. I'm doing a terrible job explaining it, but a lot of people think that in, like, when Batman becomes public domain, that they can just do literally anything with it, but that's not how it's going to work. Oh, boy. Yeah, even, like, stuff like the bat signal isn't going to be public domain. So, a lot of Batman suits won't be either. Like, you can't just do whatever you want. There we go. There you go. Same with the Batmobile. He didn't have that in his first few comics, right? Pineco, send it out. Yeah, I saw a really funny tweet, by the way. Hang on. So you know how, like, when something becomes public domain, everyone makes, like, a crappy horror movie? Where it's like, what if this character killed? There was a post saying when Superman is going to become public domain, and someone said, I can't wait to make my own original idea where Superman is evil and kills people. <laughs> and it's just really funny, because DC has, for some reason, keeps doing that the past ten years. Ugh... <sighs> I tell ya, that trope has kind of overstayed its welcome. Isn't that just Injustice? No, 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 there's quite a few of them. Um, listen, I've been getting into comics more the past couple years, and one of the, some of the DC universes I've seen, right? There's one uh, that's the DC Vampire Universe, where the vampires try to take over the world by turning lots of heroes and villains, and, well, guess what? They turn Superman into a vampire, and he kills people, and that's his thing. <laughs> That's another one. Venonets. Um, I can't use bug hidden power here at all. You know what? Send Houndoom back in. He deserves it more. Archie Horror asked the important questions like, what if Jughead ate people instead of burgers? Is that a real thing? You know more about Archie than me, so I'd, I'd expect that. The only Archie stuff I know is I used to watch Archie's Weird Mysteries when it was, like, a Saturday morning cartoon. It is a real thing? Really? 
<laughs> really? It's called Jughead the Hunger. As a trainer, you're full of charm. They really... There's a real official Archie comic, or material, or whatever, where Jughead is a cannibal. That is... It's a real comic, and he's a werewolf that eats people. Okay, he's a werewolf. That that makes it make a little bit more sense, kind of. I'm gonna go back and heal, and then we're gonna go fight Bird. Oh, wrong way. Damn it. Yeah, let's go. Just looked it up. It is a thing. <laughs> Excellent. Actually, Superman's powers are quite interesting. Um, like, you know how Superman can fly, right? Do you know where that came from? That came from the movies, from what I understand. Like, originally Superman could not fly in the comics, but they made it so he could fly in the movies because it was, it was cheaper to film, just kind of film that way, right? Like, it was cheaper to just kind of film the actor holding his arms out in that pose and just kind of green screen a moving sky behind him. Originally, he could only leap tall buildings in a single bound, yeah. Let me see, wasn't there another thing that was only, that became a part of the comics because an actor in the movie did something really lazy? I think it's like the logo on his chest. And like, I don't remember, something about that. They didn't want to have to film him leaping, so they film made him fly like that instead. That's so funny. Alrighty. I did just heal, right? I was running on autopilot there. I still have Boopy on me, but I could probably do this. Uh, I didn't put the amulet coin on Axew. Probably do that. Don't need multiple experience shares. Um... I say I start with Pidgeotto and Houndoom. Make sure I get that Intimidate out. Uh, maybe let Axew go first. Save Pidgeotto as backup for, like, Levani, where I can do double with Acrobatics. Boopy's kind of a sit and duck, but I'm too lazy to go back and change it now. I haven't saved this whole episode. I should do that. Let me get a drink. Okay. Comics are stupid, yes, but when you, like, accept that comics are really dumb, you can enjoy them more. Let me see. Let me see. The good ones are the ones that understand that most people buying comics don't, like, haven't, like, read hundreds of years worth of material. So you can find some good ones that don't expect you to know everything. Alrighty, we can talk to him from the back here. Am I fine like this? I guess I should give Togetic an item before we start, but what? Um, I'm not fast enough to make use of that. Big root, bum mushroom. I guess the citrus berry? Or maybe a petra berry, actually. Do that. I want to save the citrus if I can. Thanks again for your help. My bug Pokemon are scurrying with excitement about getting to battle you. Let's get straight to it. Let's do it. Alright, we're playing against Berg. What you got? Caddy's ready to throw down too. Look at that bear in the corner. Oh, double intimidate, huh? Wasn't expecting Vespa Queen. Luckily, Intimidate doesn't apply here. So, which one's the scary one? They both got Intimidate, don't they? Okay. Oh, Incinerate hits both? Right. Forgot about that. Let's try. Icy Wind? Oh! They're going for the speed drop. I see. Ooh, that did a ton to Axew. No problem. We're getting that Dragon Rage before I go. Acrobatics on you? 
Uh oh. Okay then. Uh, they're gonna hit with an icy wind for sure, but I need to take out the Vespa Queen before it uses acrobatics on Houndoom. Incinerate should finish it off. My switch turned out good. Hang on, I need to know who's faster. Speed is 49. Oh wait, doesn't matter. Hound Doom got its speed lowered. That's right. I need to make sure Vespa Queen dies, so I'm just gonna do that. Hmm. Let's do it. Oh, Hyper Potion, I see. Yeah, here we go. Did it, what did it just use on me? Was that Scald? Okay, good. One's down. Masquerade gets Scald. Of course it does. Oh, yeah. We might be in trouble. We might be in trouble. Oh! Poison Touch. Well, I hope this incinerate burns your citrus berry if it's there. Uh-oh. Oh, come on! Come on, Houndoom. Come on. Yeah, I burned the citrus berry, but it doesn't matter. Kind of screwed, aren't we? Right, this weird ass interface. Looks like we're gonna have to go back and train. Eh, may as well metronome. Why the heck not? Rock climb. Oh. And it confused me. Of course it did. <laughs> Speed fell. And you're confused. And you got hurt. How about we win with this? Tickle. <laughs> That's not the move we need. Not the move we need at all. Here comes Megahorn! Here comes Icy Winds. Where else do I have the train other than those remaining office people? Just the desert, really. There's no one else to refight there, though. Triple kick, and I missed. Go for the Zen headbutt and die. And now it's going Silver Winds. Blech. Wolfie is down. Flinchton couldn't move. Oh, somebody's getting real lucky today. It slaughtered me. Scurry back to the Pokemon Center. Alright, let's head to the office, peeps. We're sure as heck not gonna... Hmm... There's no point in bringing Boopy. It's just gonna die. But hang on. Where is. Okay, there's all the bee bass I caught. Where's my bear? There it is. Show that you care. Take out your teddy bear. 
Yo, it'd be real helpful though, if only maybe my freaking my low tick could learn to move. That'd be nice. I invested hard into this thing and it has <laughs> freaking twister and, and hidden power. Hidden power bug for the bug gym. Axie is not really gonna get that either. Hang on. Let's open up with two intimidate. Yeah, two intimidates there. Let me go to the battle company again first. Uh, hello? There we go. Is that what I did earlier? Maybe I thought I couldn't go in there because the building is weird. There's like one or two. Pokemon trainers left here. Will I even make it past Berg today? We'll have to see. My work is a Pokemon battle. Got experience shares, though. And I have a teddy bear. When you have a teddy bear, everything works out. That's an orphan. I think I might want to prioritize getting rid of, um... Getting rid of, like, the, um... Yeah, Masquerade first. Because that speed drop with Icy Wind is going to mess me up. Hello, friend. Thank you for the reset there. Appreciate it. Yay. Ledian, send it out, send it out. And Ledian is down. Milo Tick doesn't learn another attacking move till level 29 in regular Gen 5. Don't know if that's changed here. We'll have to see. Oh, pardon me. At least I can use hidden power against the stuff in the, the deserts. Well, Sand Isle anyway. Got money. What about you? I found a wonderful trainer. I will research you immediately. What a weird thing to say to someone. And it's Aqua Tail? Oh god, that's terrible. And I don't get Surf for a while. Well, here comes Pikachu, so let's get the hell out of there. My first stab option will be physical. Ew. Ew. Let the teddy get him. I want to see my bear. Yay! Come on, teddy. Show him what you're made of. Okay, then. Next turn. Thirteen. This bear has shown that it cares. We're not getting a nurse ring today. That's sure as hell not happening. And I'll stay in against a spoink. I did get recovered, but I can't really do much with that. Confuse Ray. Here we go. Teddy Urse is good. Teddy Urse is good. Water Pulse would have been gotten earlier, but uh, Feebass was too high level, so Milo Tick skipped it. Oh, that sucks. Come on, Teddy, you can do it. Sometimes you gotta believe in the bear. Trap Inch. If only I had a water type to deal with that. If only I had a water type to deal with that. Sadly, the world doesn't work like that. I think leading with uh, Houndoom in the fight is good because... Hang on a second. Because um, his lead Pokemon is Vespaqueen and Masquerain, the Vespaqueen seems to go for... Hmm... It goes for acrobatics, so hitting it with Intimidate is good. Yeah, that's true. 
So I guess if I focus on the Masquerade, the Vespa Queen can sit there being weaker, but it's not like... Wraiths? Vespa Queen doesn't have the best attack stat in the world, right? Maybe it'll be fine if I just leave it. And then focus on one half of the team till it's gone. Alternatively, I could start with, um... I could start with Houndoom and Toga Togetic and then just try attack the Masquerade. Maybe if I get a good opening with, like, a status move, I could just kill it before it does anything. Posture check and stretch? Hell yeah, let me do that. Oof. It looks like I've beaten everything now. There we go. Oof. Isn't it really funny that, like, they have a better water type than me? They got a Masquerade. Which isn't even a water type anymore. <laughs> oh boy. Vespa Queen is base 80 in both attack stats. Okay, we're gonna go to the center, and then we're gonna go... I've beaten everyone, so let's just go to the desert. No point going back to the... Go back to the forest or anything like that. Going back to Lurkin' Friend, no problem. Good. Well, if I, I don't think I can get an Eviolite, can I? Isn't Eviolite Gen 6? I don't remember. Or is it Gen 5 and it's here somewhere? It's near Route 4? Was it? Hold up, that might be useful. Uh, there was one building I didn't explore yet. Maybe it's that one. No, I've been in this one. Hang on, if I put that on Togetic, it would be good for it, yeah. Pokemon, Fanatic, I'm famous in Gastelia. Oh, look, you have a Pokedex. How many Pokemon have you found? 247. This is quite a dex. I'm quite impressed. I'll give this to you. I was so close to talking to this guy, and I left the building, too. If you like, it's great. Both defense and special defense will... Pokemon will increase. It's a peculiar stone because it's only effective on Pokemon that can still evolve. Well, then, that actually helps. Until we get a stone for uh, Togetic to evolve, this would be good for it. As much as I'd love to give it to the Teddy Ursa, that wouldn't be good. Once again, can we all just admire how cute Teddy Ursa's sprite is? Look at it. Look at it. I want all of you to look at the little bear. I will switch just for this. It's a brave little teddy, too. And it's holding honey. It found more treats for me. Look at the little ears wiggling. And its tail bop up and down. Back to normal. His tail is so bouncy. We all like good bears on this stream. Taking its treats. It scooped up that honey from the gym. Okay, Togetic is, like, my highest level. It is not like... Um... So Togetic and Houndoom would be good openers, then, for sure. If I could pick up a Teddy Ursa and give it a hug, I would. But I would have to make sure it wouldn't be one that would just, like, slash my face like Professor Oak. Hello, friend. Welcome to stream. Oopsie. Hang on, there aren't hidden items in here, were there? Oh, this thing. Well, I already have a fire type. We don't need to invest in this one. What level does Darumako even evolve? I need EXP right now, not la uh, not catches. Sorry, but we're not making huge progress on the decks today, because Castelia. We're in a weird spot where I couldn't catch a whole lot. And hang on. See here. Axew could learn Aerial Ace, but Dragon Rage would do more anyway. The problem is it dies right away. Level 35 is when it evolves. Okay. I don't really have any other moves to teach my low tick either, do I? But I don't really have anything else to put on the team for the moment. My low tick is kind of just like a wall, I guess? Eh? Okay, level 30. 
It's a, it's something. The TMs are poopy. Right now, anyway. Let me check who's close to a level right now. Because now everyone's like low 20s here. We're not going to get a whole lot. Um, I can always go back and look for Audino. Well, yeah, I know, I know my low tick gets mirror coat, but it doesn't right now. That's kind of the issue. Issue is it can't do anything with its current moveset against a bug gym. Let's see. Hold up. Not close. Bear is decent. Milo ticks close, but it has the KXP share. Damn, no one's really close. I guess I could maybe let Axew get a single level. I don't know. Just do a little bit of something here while we before we go back into the gym. I should go spend my remaining money. I see. Best I can do with my low tick is Hidden Power Bug and Twister. I don't even have a water move on it. There's no Surf. Um, Let's hit with this. Oh no, it's Baz Flatter. It's gonna speed it up! Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Okay, good. Once I could get Scald, then my low tick is going to be a beast. It won't be able to die, and it can just randomly inflict burns, too. That would be stupid. Hang on. Houndoom's good, but Houndoom can still, like, get slaughtered by the wrong stuff. Also, random aliens. It, wait, are the aliens normally in the desert here? I don't remember where it actually shows up. I wonder if it's rare. Should I just catch it now, maybe? Headbutt. Celestial Tower, normally. I'd probably find its Evo in the wild later, so maybe we can just catch this right now. Mostly just so we can have something in the decks added, because it's been a while. Okay. Number 62. There you go. Just so we can have something. It uses its strong psychic power to squeeze opponents' brains, causing unendurable headaches. Wow! Why would it do that, you little psycho? Yeah, get out of here. LGM. Ugh. Does that mean it could give Teddy Ursus headaches? <gasps> Baby Shrew! Baby Shrew. Look at Sand Shrew's little sprite. Looks like it's nibbling on a cookie. Ouch. That would not be very momentastic of him, no. You know what? I'll take a Shrew as well. Because I haven't run into these, so maybe they're rare. Um, Sancho evolves in, like, the 20-somethings, doesn't it? Hang on. Now let's go ahead and put it to 63. Everybody be happy. Protect itself from attackers. It curls up to a ball. It lives in uh, uh, arid regions with minimal rainfall. Except the Alolan ones. It's 20. I want to say. Wait, it evolves level 22? Does it really? Are you saying what level it was right now? Let's go up to the house over here. Wait, Sharon's there. Wait a second. Can I battle him right now? I thought he doesn't show up until after you beat Berg. Um. This would be a good way to train before the fight, I guess. Hold up. Dude, I didn't realize he actually shows up here. Teddy found more honey. You usually don't lose against Burke, so yeah, you don't usually see this, huh? Um, let my Hound Doom get some stuff. Or I could send an Axew first. 
Let's see. Uh, be too weak. It's probably gonna body the hell out of me. But it's Pokemon to kill. I believe it would be wise for me to catch some ground type Pokemon. Or perhaps I should strengthen my Pokemon. What's the best path forward? Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, he's not gonna battle me. He's not gonna battle me. He shows up after the cutscene, but I can't. If that's the case. The Eevee Light's probably worth more grinding than we, um, thought anyway, so it's fine. Let's go back. So, pretty much right after Berg, I'm gonna have another tough fight to win anyway. This game is really making me work for it in the battles, I have to say. I d it definitely feels like if you were to pick, like, one Pokemon and try and sweep the game, you would be hard punished for it. I don't remember if I went to the house first, so I'll just do this. He has three badges. I don't. Alrighty. Excellent. Boot it up the PC. Do that. My low tick is like an expensive paperweight in this party right now, I swear. Um, hold up. What level was the shrew? Level 22 right now. That mean I could evolve it quickly? Did I misread chat? Does it evolve level 22? There's a few things I could evolve via experience share, but right now I don't really have the time. Like, I feel like by the time I get fly, that's when I should start trying to evolve stuff in the background. Right now I need to just, like, actually clear what's in my way. We'll go with these. Teddy or son, the team isn't going to do much more than Boopy, but hey... It's a bear, and it's there. I'm gonna try opening with these two, and I'm gonna lose. First, I will spend my money, though. Damn, I have a lot now. Uh, netball is okay. I'm gonna buy 20 of them. Yeah, the stadiums in Nimbasa replenish every day, right? Once I have access to those, they could be okay for training. Can I buy full heals? No, I can't. Okay, let's give this a try. Eevee Light Togetic should be okay. You would absolutely get slaughtered trying to just, like, rush this with a starter. Servine is way too weak right now. A lot of my other Pokemon have better stats than it, but once it's a superior, it'll be a monster. Uh, fortunately, like, only three Pokemon on my team can really do much in this fight, isn't it? Still, this seems like it could be more manageable than Lenore. Let's go. It's, no it's Lenora. Why do I keep saying Lenore? Dude, I can never remember. I'm sorry, but she's such a forgettable gym leader anyway. Her ace is Watchhog, for crying out loud. No, I don't have any more good TMs. I keep walking on this one. Rematch, buddy. We just have to get lucky with try attack. Let's do it. You think if Teddy saw Vespa Queen, it would try and steal honey? It totally would. Teddy's quest for honey overtakes everything. Okay, we're gonna go try attack, unmask your aim, incinerate to eliminate. How about a crit? I have the scope lens on Houndoom, so a random crit could come in handy here. It's immediately going for Scald on Houndoom. Damn. No icy wind this time. You t what? They didn't do that last time. Oh, great. 
Yeah, this is a problem. <sighs> I really hope I roll a status here, or I'm messed up. Nope. I think I outspeed the Masquerade. Switch turned out right. roll with it. Of course you have Rock Slide. Why wouldn't you have Rock Slide? <sighs> so much for that Eviolite. Oh my god. This is still a faster way to get experience anyway. I gotta take the share off my low tick. My low tick doesn't really need it here anymore. Okay, please. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, paralysis, that's good. Air cross use aerial ace. Oh, nice. Hang on, we still have a chance. I can't believe it went for Togetic and not Pidgeotto. Citrus Berry activates. Uh, Togetic is still here. Maybe they'll go for Axew instead. Hold up. Togetic can be the bait. Are you kidding me? You have Yen Mega? It went for the baby. Good, good. It took the bait. It, ooh! We living at one again? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, really? I can't even two-shot Yamega now. Well, so much for that. It's up to my low tick and the teddy. We can still win. Except not, because he's got a hyper potion. Gonna hyper potion, so if we do this. Get ready for retaliate, because if someone died. Come on, Teddy, I need you to hit that hit that full power retaliate. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this! We can still win. Believe in the bears. That was terrible. Why does paralysis not stop you? Well, may as well do this. Still my best option to use retaliate. That bear had a family. And you killed it! Well, I hope I get a double crit. Not a single paralysis turn, huh? Not a single turn that paralysis did anything, huh? Well, there's no reason not to go back in. <laughs> There's nowhere else to train except Berg. Let's do it! Five turns of no paralysis. Slowing him down, though, is essential. Hang on. What do you think about starting with my low tick on the side and going for hypnosis while Houndoom tries to incinerate? Um, if that's the case, they'll prioritize killing Houndoom, though, with Scald. If I bait them with the baby... Let me see here. My low tick doesn't need an EXP share anymore anyway. But uh who deserves an experience share? May as well let Teddy get it. 
We're not gonna get Ursa Ring at this point. I have to hit it, Hypnosis. I know, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> Hitting Hypnosis is so bad. Hang on. Is it buffed in this game? It's at 60. Ah. Uh. Let's see, all trainers up to this point have been beaten. The Intimidate would make acrobatics bad at the start. <laughs> I say I just go in with the same leads. If I get that random quit... Wait. <laughs> crit, sorry. Zoom lens, no, 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 no. I ain't packing that many kinds of items. We got what we got. Just a few things. I did an uwu. If I talk an uwu during the fight, would that make him cringe to death? I feel like Teddy Urso wouldn't even tolerate uwus. Why do I keep doing that? I keep walking in front of the French clown. We got lucky and lived on 1 HP a few times. Let's do it! There are no caves. I can't get any gems, no. Here comes Beric again. The jerk. So we know that... Uh, it's gonna switch or U-turn in the Scolipede. Either way, I need try attack to do something silly. That's just how it goes. Do that. It's not gonna go for the Icy Wind in this situation. How about a crit? How about a crit? No. Scope Lens has never given me that crit. Wait, he went Silver Wind this time. Come on. Okay, here comes the try attack. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Please. Please, please, please. Hit it with a burn. We need to burn this thing because it's running physical. Nope. Did he just say his switch was turned on? Okay. This might kill it, though. This is actually good. We want that. Ah. <sighs> And he burned me! Excellent. And no secrets. Come on. Well, this one's already lost, ain't it? Bear's gonna be targeted for an attack, but maybe. No, it's gonna hyper potion. Who am I kidding? Not safe to send out Axie when that thing can just kill it with Icy Wind stupid quickly. The Scolipede just needs to die. Like... Oh, come on, man! <laughs> and it got a critical hit on Togetic. Oh. Come on! I can't even hit them this time! Jeez. Oh. I hate this setup here. All bad luck. Hit him with Twister, and I guess hit him with Retaliate. Why must you kill the Teddy? Why must you kill Teddy? I was able to faint, like, half the team last time. This time, they just got stupid lucky and murdered me. Can't even finish off one thing, but the only thing left to fight is Pokemon, like, it like, low 20s. I can't even really get EXP. Except from him now, which is pretty stupid. Okay, went Hyper Potion.
He doesn't believe in the teddy. He believes in booping them to death. Or impaling them with a freaking horn. Well, this one's a bust. The only way for me to get a good start against Berg is for Tri-Attack on Togetic to actually, like, inflict a status. If I can burn the Scolipede, it, be it becomes far less of a threat, for sure. Because it's running physical moves, it'll slowly die from the burn, and it will just it loses a big chunk of its attack there. And while he opens with Masquerade, I can't you he's got Scald for Hound Doom to stop. This would be a lot easier to do if I actually had something else to fight, but I've already fought everything. I already fought the dancers, everybody in the building. Maybe get Hound Doom another level at this point. Maybe even Teddy needs another level, too. Well, guess we'll have to check the desert. Or, hang on, can grass shake in the forest? Maybe I should go hunting for an Audino back at, um, outside the forest. That might be the best way to get experience, unfortunately. forest can have shaking stuff? That'd be good. Hang on. I don't remember seeing it. Maybe I do. We'll just have to hang on. We just have to go back and check. I thought my team was pretty adequately leveled because they were... Yeah, they were higher level than the trainers in the desert. The ones I have access to anyway. But Berg is just not messing around. His gym trainers had, had like, Metapod and stuff. But he's just like... <laughs> Masquerade go burr. Whoa, I need a drink. Okay, let's go check this out. Maybe we'll find some Adino. I know, shaking grass will have people I need anyway. Alrighty. Best place to look would be down over here. Gym leaders in this game really wall you. But once I get back to Nimbos, uh, we have the respawning trainers, so... Hang on, I need to go back and... There it is. Oh, it's down there? Oh, I can't reach that. Wow, I actually reached that. The Gen 5 encounter rate. I am so shocked that worked. The game wants me to have this. Hound Doom and Teddy are gonna get some love. Not to mention, when you get to Nimbasa, like, there's the surrounding routes, like, there's quite a few places you could really check out for levels at that point. Usually, Berg is, like, a huge pushover, so it's a non-issue, but in a difficulty hack like this, when he's got a team like this, you're just stuck here until you're done. Or 74. That's a little bit there. Okay, now let's wait for another one. Come on. Listen for the shaking grass. We might find a rare spawn we need anyway. The grass won't start shaking if you just sit there standing still. You were stuck here for a while too. Masquerade, stat buffs, and double intimidate make it super difficult. Oh wait, does Masquerade have uh, higher base stats than normal in this game? I mean, a lot of Pokemon do, but I didn't think about Masquerade being better. I can't use my starter either, because it's a pure grass type. It just dies, whatever they can do. And there ain't nothing there. It's 80 special attack and speed become 100 in this game. Oh, okay. So not only does he just have... Where is it? I actually reached it, damn. Did they change- Oh, Bulbasaur! 
bro, what are you doing here? Hang on. Well, let's get this for the decks, why don't we? Okay. We're stuck. Let's just work on the decks for a little bit. While we get some level ups and we can try Berg again in a bit. How long have I been going? Two and a half, not bad. I already got a grass starter that'll be better in the long run, but we need this for the decks, obviously. We could experience share it for... We don't need to experience share evolve anything right now, though, because that's experience we need to give to the team. Ooh, let me get a drink, yeah. I'll try a Pokeball. Bulba friends, everyone loves little cabbage frog. Three. Oh, that was lucky. It was a starter catch rate, too. Okay, 64. Okay, 64. Nice. For some time after birth, it grows by gaining nourishment from the seed on its back. Okay. I almost read it as Bull Bear, and then I'm like, wait a second, that's the thing from Pikmin. Well, we got a rare encounter. We gotta look at the positives of being stuck right now. May as well kill it. Oh, wait, I just realized, because I have Intimidate up front, that's probably why I had was able to reach the, um, the Shaking Grass more easily. Bull bears are terrifying in Pikmin 251. That mod makes the enemies scary. Okay, let's run back and forth for a second here. Well, even if we're stuck, I hope you're all comfy. But my goodness, we are walled in here. It feels bad because I feel like Berg should be should have been a lot easier, but no, he he knows what he's doing. He has crap ready to kill. Hang on, you know what? I want to hear the, um, the forest music. Let me just reset the map there. There we go. Yeah, I know a Milotic gets Aqua Tail, but what's that going to do? It's a physical move. Milotic's a special attacker. Back and forth. Listening for the shaking grass. hear it. Right there, jeez. Who we got? Oh. Oh. Who decided this was a rare encounter? Wait. Uh, outside of the gifts, are they all rare encounters? Game Freak decided that? Okay, so this is normal for this area. Well, that sucks. Need Teddy to at least get one level if he can. How close is Teddy? Let's see. Let Teddy get a level and maybe take the share off it for now. Oh, there's one. Uh, hi, Trico. You're here, too. I wasn't expecting to bump into starters. I wanted to grind here, but sure, we'll take it. Again, I already have the best starter for the long run. You will be the best starter later. Just need Chikorita and Turtwig soon. Too bad they're not much use in the bug gym. Hell yeah, you're right. When I have that contrary superior, everyone is everyone that mocked me is going to cry. I, I won't get a crit again. Fine. Come on. There we go. Let's catch it. Oh, 
no. Pursuit! Do you think the teddy bear is trying to escape you? How dare you. We will win. We will eventually win. Probably. Maybe. Absorb! Don't take health from the teddy. You jerk. No. There you go, jeez. Oh, great ball, Adam. Rare mons for the decks, at least. Rare mons for the decks! At least we paralyzed it. At least we paralyzed it. One, two, three. There we go. 65. Took a while to catch some stuff this episode, but, um... I'd say this stuff is pretty worth it, yeah. Not bad. Soles of its feet are covered by countless tiny spikes, enabling it to walk on walls and ceilings. Like the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. It's cool that we can get these guys, but it, yeah, they're not useful for this particular fight. I should go with the nurse right quick. Found four Shaken Grass encounters. Um, however... Only one of them has been an Audino so far. Good thing I spent my money on Pokeballs there while I could. I don't want to cheese it with potions and battles. There we go. Depending on the game, I don't really want to potion spam. Let me see. There's. It doesn't matter, though. Someone will be upset about it. And ones where I do potion spam, people call me... People get upset about it, and ones where I choose not to, people call me dumb for losing repeatedly when I can do something about it. Let me see. The rock's got that little shine. Or wait, no, that's uh, the shadows of the trees swaying back and forth. Oh, that's a nice little touch, now that I think about it. It's like, oh, it's like on one of the light tiles right here, yeah. No shaking grass yet. listen for it. There you go. Oh, come on! I'm gonna find a shiny before I fight Berg again. <laughs> That's right. It's called Map Fog. Fog actually darkens the map and there's tiny holes in it. Oh, okay. Isn't that just the internet? When no matter what you do, people will complain? Yeah, I guess so. Don't get me wrong, when I signed up for this playthrough, I knew it was going to take a while. I knew that there were going to be some fights that get us stuck for a bit, but that's okay. I've been too impatient with the Castellia anyway. Usually when I get to Castellia, it just feels like I'm mashing A button and reading dialogue. I always tend to feel like it can be like a bit of a boring part to watch, but hey, Gen 5, baby. Cutscenes. Anyways, let's take this thing out. Teddy should get a level from this. Critical hit. Already caught one, so I don't need to get it. Dino fainted. Little Teddy. It got plus two attack power because it's such a good little bear. Okay, for real though, Houndoom needs a level. Teddy. I'm gonna have to take that from you. Yeah, the egg lock was fun, but it was pretty easy to power through everything, wasn't it? There were too many good Pokemon in that. So we gotta focus. Oops. Alright, we'll take out the Cottony right quick. Houndoom has been pretty good to me. So far, I mean, except my low tick, I guess, but um so far the Pokemon that I've been wanting to use have been pretty nice. It's just the teams I need to fight are pretty ridiculous. 
I don't even want to think about Charon. Charon, remember the last time I fought him? The only reason I got actually got through the battle was because he decided to not sweep me with flame charge for some reason. Sometimes the shaking grass can spawn far off screen, by the way. And if it's off screen, it won't spawn. Another one's not going to spawn near you. Oh. There it is. Milo tick will be way better with stab. Oh, there's another Snivy. Uh, I, I don't need you. Unless you're like shiny or something. Guess we can just kill it. It actually can't spawn off screen. Oh, really? Am I wrong about that? Okay. It spawns on screen and then you move away from it. Let's see. Anyone ever get a shiny starter in Unova? Like the actual, like, beginning of the game shiny. I still have never had a shiny starter. Oh, there's another Bulba. I would love for that to happen sometime on stream, but then everyone will think it's fake. The easiest one to get one in is Heart Gold Soul Silver, because when you're checking the Pokemon on the table, when it shows the portrait of the Pokemon, it, can, it if it's shiny, it will reveal itself like that. So effectively, if you're resetting for a shiny, Heart Gold Soul Silver, you get three rolls to look at each time. Only Heart Gold Soul Silver does that, from what I understand. Like all other Pokemon previews, don't I, I guess. Who knows, though? I could be wrong. Why is it only Panpour showing up? What about the other two? At least the music's nice. I've got that Hoot Hoot in the daycare, and it'll probably be a beast by the time we return for it. There it is. Okay, good. An Audino. The odds are, fu are full odds. 1 in 8,000. But, um... I believe you get the shiny charm when you get an Mbasa in this game. I have the Scopelands on Houndoom, but I have yet to get a single... Ugh. Okay, there we go. I've yet to get a single crit against Berg. Oh, you jerk. Well then, here we go. Yeah, Sun and Moon starters aren't locked, but it takes like eight to eight minutes of cutscenes to uh, actually get it, so... Yeah. Because you can't just like save before you pick it up. You have to go through the cutscene and then you're taken right into the choice. Sounds like a pain. I've only done Sun and Moon once when they were new. It'd be cool. People have recommended me hacks similar to this for Sun and Moon. I look forward to trying that one day. Same with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. That'd be fun. That is a very good gain for this level up. I'll take it. That would be good. Too bad you're a modest Houndoom, so you literally do not need that. <laughs> Hang on. Smog is so bad. <laughs> I might be able to use Roar later on, but, like, this might situationally be okay if I need to go for a random burn or flinch. I don't know. Smog's not it, though. Yeah, I got a level. Now, do I go for a one on Togetic as well? I feel like I got some Eevees on that one because it took so long. I don't think... Has anyone made, like, a mod for Sword and Shield yet that, like, uh, makes the game more difficult like, in that vein? I have no idea. I'm not really sure how Switch mods are much of a thing yet. Oh, Turtwig! At least we're getting the grass starters while we're stuck here. You have to admit, like, I'd have to come back and do this eventually anyway. You may as well 
get the experience while we're at it. Oh boy. I hope you're all cozy and comfy. I noticed there's a lot of first time chat messages in, in the chat today. I hope you're all enjoying. Let me see. Made me realize that this hack has come out so long ago that like, it's well over a decade old. Gosh, people are nostalgic for a hack too. Yeah, BDSP actually has quite a bit of mods from what I understand because it's um uh because it's made in Unity, it was super easy to mod, so they came out like right away. I imagine in the future, uh BDSP mods will probably be like the biggest, like most accessible thing for a lot of people. Like, would you say that it's that pretty soon it'd be easier for the average person to mod BDSP than like a GBA or DS game? This hack is older than fairy type, yeah. Someone basically made Renegade Platinum for BDSP. All right, cool. Two, three, ah. Come on. I don't feel like damaging it anymore. Come on, baby turtle. Turtwig deserves a little pat on the head. Ah. Alright, friend, I'll damage you a little bit. How about that? Ooh. Worried about killing it with a crit. Get in the ball. Excellent. Now let's update it to 66. Yeah, the Pokedex is filling up now. Getting the starters is huge. The shell on its back is made of soil. On a very healthy Turtwig, the shell should feel moist. Moist shell turtle. No. All we're missing is Chikorita now. Where is the dino pair? Should probably go use the nurse. Heal me up. Teddy's ready to throw down, but Teddy's probably scared. Getting trashed by frickin' Berg over and over. I like. Back and forth, back and forth. Trying to listen. Oops, I went in the grass. Let's maybe get Togetic one level and try going in again. I'm not sure if Petty Lil gives extra EVs to special. But something. Come on. Can't blame Teddy if a horse-sized millipede ran through you with a torn. You'd probably be terrified to come back. Teddy Ursa getting hit by Megahorn is like a Resident Evil 4 death animation. Where you just get impaled and killed by something horrific and then it cuts to the you are dead screen. <laughs> That's what happened to Teddy. Oh. There we go. Snivy again. Imagine the millipede did that to a Cleffa. Yeah. Man, Snivy gives less than the Petty Lil. That's a little... However the hell you say it, I don't care enough about it to, kn to know. Oddish. Clefas are probably controlling the Scolipede. That would make sense. Have we even seen a Whirlipede yet? I think, like, maybe one trainer had a Venipede, and then suddenly Berg's just like, I have a Scolipede, deal with this now. It also has Megahorn at level 30. Have fun! Hear it. 
Yeah, I wasn't getting to that. What is with that one grass tile down there that wants to always be it? Probably just use a rappel when I see that. A little bit there. And now it stopped shaking. It's a miracle I went this long before that happened. Scolipede at level 30 with Megahorn actually is legal in base black and white, really. Well then, Fodder and me, that's for sure. Oh, hey! There's that one. Remember earlier when we were just absolutely dunking on Panseer and Simi Seer? Yeah. Now we gotta catch one. Megahorn's a move reminder move. Okay, yeah. Let's throw a great ball. Ancient power might be kind of nice on Togetic if I could do that. Oh, I caught it. Okay, 67. Excellent. Chat, we're getting dangerously close to a nice number. When it's angered, the temperature on its head, uh, head tuft reaches 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It uses its tuft to roast berries. Still can't deal damage. We're officially over 10% now, are we? Cool. Oh, hey. We don't have this one. Must be a rare encounter. I have leaf stones, but... Um, Executor would not be very good in the bug gym. This this place has a lot of grass types to catch, but um, a lot of them obviously aren't good for the upcoming gym. Do it. Ten percent would be sixty-four point nine. So yeah, we're over that. They ain't sleeping. They're sleeping. A lot of the Pokemon we can find here are really bad solutions to bugs. There we go. 68. I, I've officially caught nine Pokemon this episode. It's six eggs converse using telepathy. They can quickly gather if they become separated. Come on now. Can I find an Audino? Audino, please. Pretty please, I've been good this year. I deserve things. Entitled streamer once and all. Damn it. We'll meet this up. At this rate, I'd be done with this level if I could just, like, attack these things. Instead, I'm hoping for an Audino to speed it up. I do deserve things, that's right. Also, hi, Cringe, yep. I've been getting walled by a big bully of a trainer. He booped my bear. Dangerously so. Oh, pardon me. I'm a little bit stuffy, it's cold today. We haven't found the grass monkey yet. Oh. Ah, it's Trico again. If you've never seen a Pokedex run, especially for games like this, there are a ton of times where I'm going to be hunting for 1% or rare Pokemon, so... Really, I shouldn't feel bad that we've resorted to this for experience. This is just how it is for catching... Trying to figure out how to stop that thing from impaling my bear. Yes. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, it's down there. Let's go for it. No. <laughs> Do we have Blitzel? No, but you should be able to catch it before Lenora's town. Would that really do much? Like, at this point, wouldn't it take too long to train it anyway? If, if Bird keeps bodying me, I'm gonna have to level up between streams. That's all I can do, right? Because he's literally the only trainer I can fight now. I gotta go back and heal now. Do it. I could Thunder Wave things, that's right. That is true. Put Flame Charge on Zep Strika. See, I get what you mean, but... We don't have time to, like, train a Blitzel up right now, right? That's kind of the problem. On. Where? I made it. Ah, it's Water Monkey. Like, this has been much faster. Try attack it. If try attack with Serene Grace would actually work, then maybe I could... I could paralyze this, like... We've seen what happens if I paralyze the Scolipede. It does work out. I think the chances of beating Berg today are pretty low. Yeah. It is a bit low, for sure. I thought maybe three Audino total, and I found several starters. I'm assuming Chikorita must also be here. Hang on. Let's just beat up stuff. But I'm gonna try. Gosh darn it, I'm gonna try. And attack with try attack. This is this enough? Ah, one more. Um Zeb Strika in the long term might be okay replacing Pidgeotto, because, I mean, Pidgeotto's getting bodied in this gym anyway, so it might not be the best to keep anyhow. Tell you what, let's go try Berg again right now. And if I keep getting bodied, let's go hunt for a Blitzel. And I could train it between streams. Softboiled? Um... No, you don't need that. Fine. Because I can, yeah, I can paralyze with it. I can give it flame charge. What's a good nature for a Blitzel or Zip Strika? And also, what level does it evolve again? I don't remember. We did our training. We did some catching. Let's go. Adamant or Jolly, and it evolves at 27. Okay, around that range would be okay. Do 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 Berg messed me up. He smacked me around with his frickin' spooky bugs. Or no, rather, he impaled the teddy. Which is a mental image I'm just gonna keep saying. Need Cleffa to bring the flames of hell to heat me up here. No. Don't really have any money to lose. I didn't get any from the wild battles. Okay, then. Let's start with you two again. Teddy found honey. Take that from him. Um, icy wind on that masquerade is a pain in the ass. Uh, they're gonna bully Houndoom, for sure. Like, if I leave with a, with, with Togetic, they're gonna... Hmm. 
could try just going with my low tech up front to spam hypnosis while Houndoom rests, and then just try and do something after that. Let's give it a go. It's a pain in the ass no matter what I do, sadly. Get in. Whoop. I dodged the clown. Are you proud of me? I am. Teddy's proud of me. Teddy believes in me. Alright, send me good luck, bears. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna beat Berg. This is the one. I came back with one level on two Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I definitely got it now. Intimidated. Okay, you're gonna switch, so let's get ready to hypnotize whatever comes out. Alternatively, I could just go for the Fire Fang to try and burn Masquerade. Hmm. But he's gonna go for a Scald on me. See, I gotta... It's all up to RNG, no matter what I really do, right? I'm gonna try it. Critical hit. Well, I got the... Wait a second, that was neutral. They kept him bug water, didn't they? Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, then. Okay. Do this. And then we're gonna finish off both of you. Hyper Potion. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we have a chance. We have a chance. And it woke up right away. Of course it did. Wait, it went for my low tick? Oh, that's good to know. Okay, then. Darn it. That crit was the best thing I had. Now Doom is dead. And it missed. God dang, this sucks. I just need the damn R good RNG to win this. Okay, I can send out Pidgeotto. Wait. Oh. That didn't happen last time. Right? Also, he's doing Flame Orb Guts Heracross. He's Gym Leader 3 for crying out loud. Okay, they're gonna go for Icy Wind, no doubt. Hang on, we're gonna shift in the bear. Good idea. Hey, you turned out? Yeah, you turned into it, and then I killed it before it could activate, I guess. It's going for Scald. Not the bear? Okay, it went to bite you. No! Gotcha. Great. So it's gonna definitely Icy Wind kill Pidgeotto, so the best I can do is just quick attack and hope for extra damage on it. No crit? Damn. I was hoping. And there goes you. At least Pidgeotto got experience for it. How about a critical hit burn? Critical hit burn! Nope. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, 
You know how Rock Slide likes to miss all the time? Well, it's not doing that today. Comes the icy wind. Well, Togetic avoided the attack. And it's a crit on Yaxu. He wouldn't have lived anyway. Well, I froze it, <laughs> but it's not going to matter because he's just going to... I can't kill anything this turn. And it just fell out and hit me with Rock Slide. This dude is brutal. God dang. Ugh, pardon me. The only plan I have is to hope I land the status moves. Because that's the only thing that can just stop him from slaughtering me at this point. Yeah, let's go back in. I had the right idea. I just need to hypnosis to land. Sadly. At least when something did die there. Hang on. The main thing is, I need Masquerade to die, so I'm gonna save Houndoom now. Let's try this. Masquerade just actually needs to go far, far away. I did. Damn it, I walked on the clown. I don't think I've seen Scolipede miss a single move actually spent a turn frozen, or a turn hit by paralysis. That Scolipede has, like, a perfect record so far against me for literally everything you can think of. He's impaled my bear a few times, too. Come on. Need to hit him with some kind of status at least, if I can. I'm already slow as hell, so this doesn't matter. Come on. It missed. Acrobatics. Do something. That did nothing. Man, this is so annoying. Like, I can't do anything with this team against them. Would also help if my Melotic could learn a move. I spent all that time to get it and it can't do anything. Well, at least this worked. I have Serene Grace on Togetic, but it refuses to like get a status move half the damn time. Come on, come on. Oh, finally, I'm owed this. Okay, here it comes. We all know what it's gonna do. It's going rock climb on what? Togetic? And Vespa Queen woke up. Come on, I need you to land that hypnosis. Or wait, actually don't. Cry attack needs to do something to the Scolipede. Yeah, it missed. Burn it, please burn it. I paralyzed it, that's good enough. Okay then. If I can recover, I can keep being a tank right now. Oh, we're in a bad situation now, aren't we? Yeah, it's going for me. Now I can just acrobatics the Heracross. Okay, let's see if we can do this. 
I'm hoping the Heracross goes for the Milotic. Cover. One brick break. It did. I thought so. Recover worked for me. Bought me that turn I needed. And this will give me a level up too. Come on. Oh. Something. How are you still landing this? Why can't you just miss one of them? Okay, at this point, uh, would Houndoom be okay to come out? I did just lose a Pokemon, so I can just go for a Retaliate. But I need to... Actually, wait, I should incinerate its berry as well. Um, who's left? Who's left? Who's left? The end, Mega hasn't come out yet. Burning that would also be essential. Crap. God, what do I go for? It's gonna be bad no matter what I do. Hang on. Let's do it. I don't even know all his Pokemon yet. I need to use an Incinerate to get rid of berries. And if I can somehow just hit this thing with acrobatics. They both got a citrus, because multiple citruses have been on Lenora's team. Oh. Cit okay, air slash. He's got a hyper potion now. Dude, can you just miss one rock slide? Like, how is he? He got a crit too! How is he miss he he's hitting all of them? You're supposed to, like, miss a rock slide every time, every third one. All that's left is Axew and Teddy. <laughs> Man. Does he have no guard? Can he actually have no guard? Wait. I'm unaware if that's a thing. Here comes a hyper. Can't, not legally. Okay, that probably doesn't. We saw a poison touch at some point, yeah. Ah, we're pretty much dead. Teddy Ursa flinched. Teddy Ursa flinched. Oh! Yeah. I think I need to go catch something else. This this team just cannot kill it. They're too freaking powerful for this point. Man. He's ridiculous. At least Axie will get a good amount of experience for this. Yeah. Okay, we'll get that dang Blitzel. Take that. Toxic. Oh, you're just you're just the worst, aren't you? I can't just train up an Agron chat. That's that's not gonna happen so easily. Well, this is me. I'm dead. No money left to even lose. It's clear we need that Blitzel. At this point, I should also get... I probably need Ursa Ring. Like, I might need the train up Teddy to get close, because his Pokemon are at 30s as well. The problem is, though, like, you're seeing how long it takes to level up right now. Gen 5's experience system is obviously kind of designed not expecting you to get stuck at, like, Berg or Lenora. But we gotta go back. Skolipi doesn't get speed boost until Gen 6, so that wasn't, like, a, an official thing yet. But the Yen Mega's got that speed boost. Man, I'm salty. You can hear it in my voice. I am just salty. Berg is a monster in this game. Let's go back. So we're looking for an Adamant or a Jolly Blitzel. I say we get that. The problem is, the only time I actually make progress in that fight is when I land Paralysis on the Scoldipede with Tri-Attack. Gotta go all the way back. Um... Too bad I can't, like, get leftovers on my low tick 
and let it just sit there recovering while it takes hits. Because that did work for one turn. Okay, let's look for a Blitzel. It'll be number 69 we catch. There's a Marie. Berg was trained by Kleppas to fight me. We can get a small amount of experience doing this. Attacker plus speed is good. Special attack is respectable if you want to do mixed. Um, I think it's best to go for physical, because like you said, you can give it flame charge. What does Blitzel have, um, or sorry, Zeb Strika really have going for it with defenses, though? Let me see. No, I've tried hitting the Masquerine without Intimidate affecting Pidgeotto. I don't think it even takes him to half. Masquerine has, is uh, buffed base stats. Uh, the hell, I stopped for a second. Was that my D-pad? There's the Shinx. Oh, boy. I have the Flame Charge TM, so I don't need to worry about... Um, I don't have to worry much about, um, yeah, it learning Flame Charge naturally. It's not exactly resilience, yeah, but... If I can send it out, I can send it out. The only cave that's available is Wellspring Cave. And I don't... Are you able to actually earn gems? Someone mentioned that earlier, but I wouldn't think about Wellspring... I might need to EV train as well. I no wouldn't want to find a shiny during this, no. And I'm finding Marie, but no Blitzel. Take it out, I guess. That's okay. Everyone can definitely see how hard Berg is. No one's shaming no one's shaming me for being stuck on him, that's for sure. Hang on, let's try the double grass. Oh, Vulpix is here. Catch a Vulpix. I mean, I've already got uh Hound Doom, so we don't really need that. Oh, drought. You can get drought Vulpix at the start of the damn game. Are you serious? You know, it might actually be funny if I throw the Vulpix and then I just throw in Houndoom to slaughter Berg. I might actually need to do that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, do this. Like, I don't even need to train it. I just need to throw it out there at the start of the battle to set up Drought. That would also boost the Flame Charge strat, too. Hang on, we might actually want to do this. That'd be so stupid, though. Yeah, let's take you out. Just do a twister. And you on it. And then we'll throw balls at it. I mean, Teddy's kind of dead weight. My low tech's paralyzed, it can't move. Well, let's throw a great ball at it then. Nope, no catch. Let's go in flame burst. And now it's asleep. Eddie is never dead weight. I know, but it's kind of dying in this fight easily. Axio can sometimes get, um,. Oh, that's a crit capture. Axio can sometimes uh, get a Dragon Rage in there. If I I could go back to Berg right now and try the strat with Houndoom. Would that work? Maybe. It controls balls of fire as it grows its six tails split from their tips to make more tails. Nice number, chat. Ugh. <sighs> Sure, I'll name it after you. 
Give me capital letters, please. Bum 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 bum. Making sure I look at it right. Send it to the PC. Now then, where's the Blitzel I also wanted to try and catch? Not here at the moment, clearly. I haven't caught Pet of our Badoo yet. Now, weather's permanent, right? Gen 6 is the one that made, um... Made them... Ah. Five turns each, I think? Hmm. I'm gonna go back. If I replace Teddy and I throw out the Vulpix right away, and I set up for Houndoom to come in and just get, like, um... A good Fire Fang hit on something. That's still not going to be enough. Like, let's be real. Let's be real. But at this point, I just noticed the time. We've been going for a while. I need to end this. But I'm spiteful, and I just want to make one more run at Berg now. I might have to catch a Blitzel off, off, off stream or something. Go, go, go. What is that noise? What also weak and scald? That's true. That is true. You see here. We'll lead with my low tick and Vulpix. And try and just put things to sleep. The Vulpix will die right away, then Houndoom can come out and just maybe slaughter. Flame Burst is bad because it, it has to be spread in a double battle, but Fire Fang can burn and it's good. The problem is my Houndoom is modest, though, so that's the problem. Yeah. If I could cheese out a victory with this dumb craft, that'd be good. I'm gonna box three now. Lonely nature. Aw, little fox friend. Sorry, Teddy. You need to take a break. You've been doing real good. You're a brave little bear. We gotta win this stupid fight. Yeah, but I don't have a, like, flamethrower or any other special fire move, so I can't really take much advantage. Plus, I have the scope lens, so there's always the chance of that crit. Okay. This is gonna be really, really stupid. But if it works, it works. Incinerate has, like, 50 power, I think, and it gets divided because double battle. At least using it is good for getting rid of the Citrus Berry on... What's-his-face? We know the Scolipede has a Citrus Berry. Maybe I should save in front of him and reset if I get a bad start. I'm spiteful as hell. I need to win. I don't want to train up a whole new Pokemon between episodes every single time I get stuck. Because I have been training my Pokemon good. They're just not a good matchup for this guy. So it goes down to 25 power, basically. Bleh. Does it get a damage boost when you burn the berry? I don't actually know. Okay, team is like that. Game has just been saved. But I'm paranoid. Do it again. Pretty sure it doesn't. It's revenge time, chat. Revenge. Sorry, no honey bear on the team this time. Sacrificial fox. We also waste their intimidates doing this, too. And now it's sunny. Get your money. Never give up hope, Teddies. Never give up hope. Put you to sleep. 
And I guess you could just flame burst as well. Probably survive. Could now you're not going to survive the scald. A point roar setting up, right? They went for stun spore on. Why do they go for stun spore on Vulpix? What? Weird thing of them to do. Boy. Wow, that did. Oh, that's flame burst, not incinerate. My bad, my bad. I got them mixed up. They actually did surprisingly okay damage for this. But now goes the fox. They're, they're attacking my low tick. Why are they attacking my low tick? <laughs> the fox was supposed to die turn one! Berg is on to me. And I missed another hypnosis. And I missed a flame burst. Okay, then. Try this again. Well, that's lame. So now Skolipede is going to outspeed and absolutely murder me. Went for Scald. Hang on. Hmm. This is annoying. We're in the hot seat now. Berg didn't view the Vulpix as a threat at all. Yeah. Now I need to go for the incinerate. I'm like this makes a difference. Kill him or burn his berry. Yeah, of course. Perfect accuracy rock slide strikes again. Okay, sun boosted incinerate. Let's do it. Oh, that almost killed him. Come on, come on, come on. That's Scald. Togetic flinched? Oh, you... <sighs> I'm, I'm a little pissed now. You've got to be kidding me, man. You've got to be kidding me. What is the RNG in this fight for me? <laughs> I can't even one-shot him with that. <sighs> that was me slapping my knee. That was me slapping my knee right there. I was a little pissed. Could swap Houndoom in and out. Berg took all the RNG. At least I got a level up. I need these. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Now, is Heracross gonna come in next? Probably. Do it. I called it. Try attack the Masquerain. Okay, it's going for the Icy Wind. I don't think he's ever missed a single Rock Slide this entire stream, no. It went night. Oh. Okay, good. The Flame Orb didn't activate yet. I need you to inflict a status on this thing. I'm begging you. Please, please, please. Okay, that'll take it. I'll take it. Now comes this piece of trash. It went beam on Togetic. Okay. That, why did it do that? That was so stupid. Come on. Oh, come on. good. This is good. Win Icy Wind now. Speed is down, sadly, but you're paralyzed, so it shouldn't matter. Uh, we, we took out half the team this time. This Masquerade is an absolute jerk. 
I guess it is. Oh, may as well at least get the EXP for it. Togetic almost got two full levels. Come on. Critical hit and get a status. Ooh. And here comes Levani. Oop the baby. I got down to the last damn one. I'm close. Togetic got two levels from this frickin' fight. Unbelievable. Oh! I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Memes are gone. Dreams are real. We've timed the bug out here. Yes. Now, if the Vanny could just miss every single move. Just miss every single move. Ancient power is not going to win me the thing, though. I need to, like, to freeze it <laughs> if it goes for Axio. Come on. Come on. Nope. Finishing me with Leaf Blade? That's insulting. Yeah, ch chat, I was close. I was close. I was so close. <laughs> I'm going back in. I have nothing to lose, and I gain two levels on my best Pokemon. Come on, we, we, we can do this. We can do this. That Vulpix is the key. The Vulpix is the key. If I rolled like Freeze, I could have finished it off, too. This is the right strat. My low tick can't really do anything except kind of like stall them out. Um, I have an idea. It might be a little bit stupid. What if? What, what if I start with Houndoom and and the Vulpix and I switch into my low tick? So the Masquerine wastes its time using Scald on my low tick, and I essentially just like waste its turn while. I just hit with flame burst a few times over and over, right? What what if that works? What if? What if I can do that? What if I can do that? And three intimidate on the Vespa Queen. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I could do this. I could We can do this. Just believe in the Teddies. Well, Teddy's taking a break. Look, it's either that or I spend hours off stream grinding a blitzel that you all don't get to be attached to because I have to grind it off stream. I know I'm going a little later than I expected with this, but I'm salty. I'm spiteful. I need to win. I need to crush the bugs. Why do I keep doing that? I'm going to do that every time. I'm going to do it every time. Pettiness 101. Hey, I'm not petty. You're all watching me be petty, so you're entertained by it. I'm still playing home safety hotline. Don't worry. I am still playing that after this, for sure. It's just I'm going closer to four hours with this stream now. I wasn't doing more of this till the weekend anyway, so it's okay. I caught 69 Pokemon total, so the, the Pokedex entries are uh, okay right now. This is why you're here. Yeah, you want to be entertained. Let's do it. Houndoom, you switch into my low tech. And Flame Burst. Doesn't really matter which one I hit. I mean, I want it, may as well get the Drought Boost. It won't really work too much on Masquerine. Masquerine kind of needs to die, though. That's the important thing, I think. 
See how much I do to it. Come on. Maybe the. You read the moves, you little cheat. You read my switch. Now you decide to scald the Vulpix. And it toxic. It knew. It knew. You cannot tell me it did not know. Well then. At least I get a defense boost. I could just. It's bad poison, though. Hmm. It's learning. Now, if this is the case. Time to take advantage of the fire, I guess. Okay, Vespa Queen is at minus two attack. It's not really a threat. Ties you. It flinched. And I got the sleep. Oh, this is a godlike turn. This is a godlike turn. Switch him out my low tick to make the poison normal. Might not be the best idea. Mm. Quick question. Who who went first? Was it my low tick or Houndoom? 54. Okay, Houndoom went first. So where's what we're gonna do? Wait, no, the turn they won't do that until they come out anyway. Hmm. No point in using hypnosis because Best Queen's already asleep. I could just recover, but the poison's just gonna tick away, so maybe it'd be a good time to switch. Cause the Heracross is probably no, not the Heracross. Scolipede. Hmm. I could go in the Toga Tick and switch back to my low tick, then just spam recover. Don't miss the 95. I need to take advantage of the Marvel scale boost. Or multi scale, whatever one it is. Did oh, I thought I missed it for a second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, my low tick level's up too. I'll take it. It woke up! Bad. Now, this is a problem. This is unforeseen for circumstances now. This is kind of bad. Okay, we need to get rid of that one first, I'd say. Ah, oh, it hit it again. Hound Doom flinched. Hound Doom flinched! Um, yeah. Yeah. Ancient Power would get the Serene Grace buff, but it's still only 20%. Oh, I burned it! I burned him! No Pidgeotto. And we just gotta do this. What is the chance of Rockside fl flinching? Because it's happened more times than I can count, I feel. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use a random Ancient Power and hope it gives me the boost after Heracross dies. Stop hitting every Rock Slide, you stupid jerk. Okay, there we go. It's 30%, of course it is. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Do this. Come on! Agility? No. You have no time to set that up. Random boost. Random boost. Let's go. Ooh. No boost. I do need a tiny breather. My voice makes me sound more irritated than I really am. <laughs> but still. Okay, we can do this. 
Okay. We got this. We got this. We can do this. We can do this. I'm just so upset. Going for the air slash on Pidgeotto. He's gone. Come on! Come on! Okay, one shot at Yen Mega. Another level for Togetic. I keep leveling so much. Oh. Now we got my low tick. Levani's gonna come out and it's gonna Leaf Blade it. Oh, we can't have that. I need to Ancient Power the Vespa Queen now, before it's too late. We're gonna probably focus on Togetic or X Scissor, Axew. If only I could save my fire types from Levani. Come on. Come on. Kill, 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 you can do this. Oh! 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 No, 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 I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. Okay, I need to think very carefully. My speed's been buffed, so I think I should, um... I need to get rid of, Le get rid of Levani before, um... Milo Tech comes in. Hyper Potion's probably gonna happen on v Vespa Queen anyway, so let's go for Levani. And hope they attack Axew, come on. Hyper Potion. It used Grass Whistle and Mist. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Ooh! This is the run. This is the run. You're dead. You're dead. It's happening. Dragon Claw? Uh, actually, yes, I do need that. Uh, Don't really need Slash, do ya? Come on. It'd be time to bug out. Hit with the last one. Hit with the last one. Hit the last one. Yeah! Oh, that was very stressful. Is it over? Has my muse abandoned me? Yes. Teddy's win, chat. Teddy's win. Oh, I lost. Whatever. Losing to you doesn't bug me because you have amazingly strong Pokemon. This is the gym badge. You beat me, so it's yours. I told you I could win if I just kept playing out of spite. <laughs> that was that was ridiculous. This game is making me work for these. I I did multiple attempts at um the gym, and in the last few, Togetic gained like three levels. The reason I won is because Togetic randomly just started learning Ancient Power, and I, I needed that. It's insectable. I mean, incredible. If you have three badges, Pokemon level 40 will obey you, including Traded Mons. Come as a generous guy, I'll give you this. Hey, you turn U-turn allows the user to switch out of a battle in a hurry. Best guy, I tell you. There are artistic things that count. Okay. Hang on, let me make a save for that. So... Maybe between streams, I'll level up a tiny- I'll level up some of the team a tiny bit. But, um, next time we need to basically fight Charon right away before we can move on. If that was Berg, I'm scared to see the rest of the Pokemon teams, yeah. Oh yeah, Bianca as well, don't I? Isn't that the end of the routes? Um, Elisa's gonna be tough, but we have more places to level up there. Oh, hang on. We have- we have lore. <laughs> Thank you, the graph, the resub there. Oh. Hey there, where are you now? Could you do me a favor? Let's have a Pokemon battle. I was this twain me, and I've been become a little stronger. I should be able to protect my own Pokemon now. Let's meet at the gate to Route 4. Okay, see you later. There you go. You got your uwu. You got your uwu.
LSO and a full team of Volt Switchers. Oh god, you're right. That's gonna that's gonna suck. I absolutely can't keep using Pidgeotto at that point, but Servine would probably be okay. I'm gonna have to get to Superior. I need to get Superior by that point, because then it could double resist electric. Unless she also has um Yeah, we're close to Pidgeot. But Pidgeot's not gonna be good in the electric gym. So, I can't use it there. I'm gonna need to use Togetic still, unless I get the stone. At least with the Eviolite, I can keep uh, going with that. Okay. This was a good episode. We made pretty good, significant progress, I'd say. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, Berg walled us for quite a while. I usually go around three hours with this, but I did close to four, because I, I wanted to beat him. I needed it. Let's do this. So next time, we have two rival battles and the long desert route. Well, we might not even make it to Elisa next time. Like, it might take a while. We have plenty to do, and we don't know what trainers are going to be blocking the way. Let's save again. Anyways, I'm happy I can at least end this on a positive note. It was a little bit distressing to get bodied by Berg so many times, yeah. But when we won, oh, we cheesed that crap hard. Oh, God, don't I don't even want to think about what Clay's team is going to have. That's going to be rough. Anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoy this extra long VOD of Bla uh, Blaze Black. We're going to take a break on stream here and just switch games in a second. So have a good night. Bye-bye.